Welcome to the Alex Adams Show. <laughs> Welcome, foot lovers <laughs> across the globe. Time to you had a little sound effect there. Yeah, yeah, okay. I did. Yeah. Well, ladies and gents, <laughs> time to. We got some feet out. The feet are out. Your pants are down. Time to have a little entertainment. Time to have an hour and a half of edging. <laughs> we hope that. Feet. Welcome to Alex Adams Edge Cast, <laughs> <laughs> the Edge Caster. <laughs> we hope you enjoy uh, the many Colgate and uh, Crest and Tampax ads you see during this program, sponsored by YouTube. Yeah. Um, we love those products. I use. <laughs> I use Tampax all the time. It's a very helpful product for me personally. Yeah, they're great on my heavy flow days, my extra heavy flow days. Yeah, I like the ones with wings. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're back, and uh, somehow we've inadvertently started a uh, a foot podcast, a podcast just for feet and people yep. who love them. Yep. And people who love it's Stella's the future. Yeah, and people who love Stella's feet. <laughs> so uh, today I'm gonna be uh, doing a 30 minute oily foot massage. You're going to have people waiting the whole time <laughs> to see when the oil comes out. Well, That's it's going to come out at some point, so just stick around and listen to us for a while. <laughs> Every time I will be ramping up the foot love. Oh, boy. That's right. At one point, we're just going to be giving full-on foot jobs. Yeah. While you discuss things. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I, I, never I will retract my feet at some point. When the content gets strong enough to viewership stand on down. its own, viewership down, viewership going down. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the graph. Down, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like watch the graph and the YouTube video, and the second you put your feet down, immediate audience drop. I off. don't know. I feel like maybe the feet are getting old because we've, I'm not gonna lie, we've had our viewers have been down the last few Actu videos. Actually, you didn't. I don't think that you, uh, you didn't shill out the, po you didn't promote it enough. Actually, I promoted it a ton. No, the one, actually, the, believe it or not, the one we did last week. Is our best performing one ever. Oh, so the most views within a week. A week. It was last week. Okay, okay, that's good. Because yeah. I've been looking really? at the views and I'm like, you know what? I think we might well, be falling off. Well, you know why, dude, is because when I put the, when I, we did the Pride Month one, I didn't do W slash Stella Berry with Stella Berry. Yeah, so so it no got, one knew I was So there. it got like 2,000 less views because I didn't put that. I thought there was one before that. that well, got, that's the our first best. one with Stella. Yeah. Or like the second one with Stella that was Best like, foot forward. Yeah, that one got a ton of views. And it had with Stella Berry in the title. So yeah, be, they got more views faster than this past one. No, it didn't. No. It didn't. This one, this one, the last the past one. Okay, never mind. I take everything back. We're, we're on a great track right here. Yeah. But I got to ramp it up with the feet. If the feet are getting old, you guys can let me know in the comments if you want something new. Uh, Safe for work new. Just let me put a little asterisk there on that one. Well, um, there's wiggle room. The, yeah, there is. <laughs> guys, we've made seven dollars in ad sense off this podcast, and we're very thankful for that. So, That's if you guys, awesome. you, we, we're not. We haven't made no. I, we can't monetize this. Yeah, oh. you haven't. You haven't turned that on, right? God, no. I am actively terrified. Wait, so button. do we actually get Tampax commercials on? No, he hasn't done the monetization. So we have no, no commercials. It's not monetized. No. So yeah. all of this has been fake. You guys just lie. Yeah. Yeah. Everything on this podcast is just it's is a just it's a goof. imagination. It's a bit. Well, Tampax, can you sponsor us, please? I would love that. I use you guys, and I only use you guys. Me too. Fleet, we would Tampax love to get sponsored Pearl. by you. and use a lot Fleet. of Fleet enemas, I think. Yeah, we use CVS Maybe brand. we should make our own brand well, of enemas. Uh, yeah. the other, any enema, CVS, please sponsor the podcast. <laughs> any any product used for cleaning out your ass, um, I please. I used like eight of them today. She did. I used a few today, too, as well. I was not filming today. <laughs> Every day, just to, just to feel cleaner, you know. Yeah, I just want to look. You never know when you're going to have to, uh, you know, go into action, as yeah. you say. Use the exit as an entrance. You never know where you have to get active. Um, yeah. So I also enjoy those products, but um, you yeah, know, I mean, the podcast is doing it's you know it's horrible. It's a foot podcast. Well, maybe now, so. you know <laughs> if we have engaging, valuable discourse, uh, we don't have to make money. Or show our feet. That's we right. We can just do it for, you know, to, to bring positivity and information to the world. I wanted, I want to do an episode where you wear socks, and let's see how the viewership is. All right, next one. Next one. Socks. Don't tune in. Yeah, there are many viewers who, <laughs> who are smashing their desk right now. Like, no. Hey, but some people like socks. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Ped socks. I get a lot of requests for guys for me to do this with ped socks on. Just in the air? Well, no, on something. Oh, Just okay. Imagine. 
What are ped socks? The little short ones, the little tiny. Oh, where you ones. can't see the ankle, like ankleless socks. Yeah. Where you, okay, yeah. I'm wearing those today. That's super gay. You have a problem with it, bigot? No, I prefer it. Good. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, someone is for something. I like the socks, and then I like to take them off. You're gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, he to rip them open with his teeth. That's been established. Yeah, you're a, you, you're. You pop those off. You pop those those little little treats in your mouth. Little socks. And you're what we call uh, societally problematic. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. an SP. We've uh, me and Stella, we, we've been getting disorder. in some trouble lately on TikTok. You said some controversial things the other day. Yeah, let's go straight into the controversy. <sighs> what did you say about those people, Stella? <laughs> um. <laughs> I only said, I'm just a puppet here, okay? And I only said <laughs> what the person in charge told me to say. Mr. Adams? All right, he will go unnamed, but I think I we all know who it is. I answer to the Anunnaki, okay? They tell me what to say, and then I have to tell people. And the federal government. Yeah, yeah I, am, I, am, I am enslaved here and forced to say things against my will. Oh, so geez. just take everything I Jesus say with a grain of salt. We're going to end up on some kind of fucking weird watch list. <laughs> I have been trafficked and put here, and that's not a joke. I don't think trafficking <laughs> is funny. Jesus All right? Christ. TikTok has convinced me that I'm trafficked. <laughs> no. So I, I, TikTok has convinced me I've been trafficked here. I don't really know where else to go because I kind of like it here, so I'm just going to stay, but just know. I want to hit the applause button so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to come out and tell everybody... I've accepted my trafficking status. Um, yeah, okay. What do you want to talk about the controversy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to jump into it. Well, because I made a TikTok with a, a, another lovely lady, uh, Renee Rose. We did, we did a group. She's so cute and beautiful. Together. I'm going to hang out nice. with her. She is very nice. Um, and I made a little, vi- you know, a little video because someone was asking about the... What are they asking about? Teens? Oh, they were, they were asking uh, if it's true that sometimes you could be older. They'll say a chick's 18, but she's actually like 22. And I unfortunately did confirm that Yeah. for that person, that that does unfortunately Anyone who happen. looks young, they just call them a teen. And I asked you in the video, I said, I said how, how old are you, Stella? And you, what, did you, what did you say? And I said 13. <laughs> <laughs> Big and, deal. And who told you to say that? God. <laughs> God. My dad. I did, unfortunately. <laughs> I did. My dad, Alex so you, Adams. Before we said I was like, say you're 13. <laughs> yeah, addressing the convert. I, t- I said I was 26. But you said it You said it twice. I, I didn't said, tell you to say it twice. I said I was 26, and he stopped the video. He goes, hey, 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 say you're 13, okay? <laughs> Remake the video. I say I'm 13. And then he's like, okay, how old are you I'm actually? trying to get some goddamn views here. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get some fake internet I'm views. I'm trying to create some... Exciting content. I'm trying to make, trying to get people stirred up. <laughs> Big deal, anyway. Though it's, it shouldn't even be controversial. I'm sitting there and I joke that I'm 13 years old. Hilarious, <laughs> so funny. Obviously, I'm 26. I'm a grown woman. If you like watching me, you like watching a 26 year old woman that looks young. Yeah, and it's not like you weren't really like wearing anything revealing either. So it's, it's not, not like, like I'm. I, well, I see, it, it, it got a lot of people, which is why I told you to say because I knew it would be. <laughs> Piece of shit. Well, someone messaged, messaged. There's all these like people, you know, being like, "You're a sex worker. It's so disgusting and disturbing to joke about being 13. How dare you?" Just like all the all the pod it's people. Like, get over. It's a joke, bitch. <laughs> no, but for real though, someone messaged Rochelle yesterday and was like, "Why? Can you ask Stella why she pedo baits so much by she she by not wearing makeup? Whoa, yeah. By that, that's not wearing our braids. By what was the other thing they said? Like wearing colorful clothing and doing anal so much. And I was like, first of all, <laughs> what Jesus makes Christ. anal pedo baiting? Because like what makes anal, it doesn't. Anal is my niche, not being looking young. Now, if you were Catholic, that'd be different. Also, I just happen to have a baby face like this. Also, I don't wear makeup anyway in my personal life. I don't think like. You're trying to have well, a child by not wearing makeup. Well, You're just being a natural uh, woman in society. That's pri- your privilege. That's privilege. Pretty privilege. And yeah, the pink uh, pill. And then, and then all the other like, wearing colorful clothing. I don't even wear that colorful clothing. 
I don't think pedo baiting is like my niche, but people are starting to really get into that because they think I look young, which honestly I take as a compliment. Yeah, I look young too. That's all I have to say. If I shaved my beard, you'd think I was 13. So when are we going to return this? When are we going to return this land to the original owners? Jesus. (laughs) I don't know. And I don't want to talk about it. I'm so tired. (laughs) I'm so tired. (laughs) This 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 episode has been sponsored by (laughs) steak.com. I wish. Feel free to. Are you are you 13 years old? Do you want to gamble? (laughs) Steal your parents' debit card. Head on over to stake.com and play some slots. Why is 13 like the magic number lately? Well, 13 has always been like... The first year of teenhood. It's yeah, the, that's true. Right it's, the, that. it's the first year of teenhood, and it's always been kind of like the the bar for like semi-adult stuff, but not adult stuff, like PG-13, right? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, PG-13. Like back in the day on MySpace, you had to be at least 13 to sign up. Same thing with Facebook. And same thing with TikTok now. So it's like well, this when weird... when you have your bar, bar mitzvah. Or whatever, yeah, it's when you right? get bar mitzvah and when you're allowed to become a, a man. When, when you're allowed to drink, when you're allowed to drive, when you're allowed to yeah. have sex. <laughs> yeah. Well, hi, um. Yeah. <laughs> things, like, things like that. So that's why it's like a big a big thing. And now, I mean, I don't know. There's probably like, you know, I, I would love to see some real numbers from TikTok on how many like seven-year-olds are using their fucking service. <laughs> I know. Well, you they know? wouldn't even know. Yeah, because they'll just lie. Yeah. But, no one's going to put their age But that's seven. the thing is 13 is like the gateway. It's the first year you're like a teen, which is so fucking stupid. But, mm-hmm. you know, that it's like the gateway to, to everything. Yeah. You know? but, it's true. I became a teenager. I lost my virginity. Yeah. Yeah, you like just. immediately. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I waited until I was. Uh, Last week, so 25 plus years, long time. <laughs> 25 plus years. I waited till I was 18 because I do not support pedo shit, okay? So yeah, with a, oh, actually, no, the first one was with a nice young lady. That's pretty good. How young? <laughs> How young was she? She was 18. Good <laughs> for you. And then... The next person I had sex with was like a 60, that may, yeah, a 60 year old man. Wow. See, that's yeah. what I'm into. <laughs> I like being the younger one and I like older people. So I really, I mean, I know other people are into pedo stuff. Yeah. And so whatever. it's like, so I mean, I'm not, I like I old was, people. Obviously, I was uh, trafficked and groomed. Someone put a gun to my head and made me log on to bearhunt.com. What does that mean? That's what it, it's probably not around anymore. It's why else. bear hunt. Be, I saw it from a SNL sketch because bear be, <laughs> bears <laughs> are like big hairy gay guys. Yeah, uh. they're older hairy. So I saw an SNL sketch. I think and it made fun of like oh, I want bear hunt because <laughs> back then it was, was like what's bear hunt. Bears were just becoming like a lexicon funny thing. Do you know where bear is? It's an old gay guy. Who's Harry? Who's Harry? So wait, yeah. you lost your virginity, and then you were like, you know what? I don't want to fuck eighteen-year-old women. I want to fuck six-year-old hairy men. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> you've always been gay. I didn't. I liked the lady too. I just wanted to try some different things. It was, that is so ballsy. It was also could have been an accessibility issue. Yeah, men were more accessible than women yes. for him. Um, yes. So. I was in a uh, pussy desert at the time. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, but there was no lack of cock, of old <laughs> hard cock around. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Did you get ass fucked? Yeah, of course. The second time I'm you I'm not going to fuck sex? a 60 year old man in the ass. If I go to hook up with a 60 year old man, I'm 18, I'm getting ass fucked. The second time you ever had sex, you got ass fucked. Yes. Of course. You literally put all women to shame. Yeah, I know. I've been lapping you guys for out here forever, and I make barely any money. It's he really was sad. like, oh, yeah, let me just do my anal debut with this old dude the second time I ever had sex. Yeah. It's amazing. But, you know, it's I, a level I, you of know. depravity. And you enjoyed it, obviously. Hard. It was yeah, fun. I had a nice time, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. 69, and, you know, fucking the butt, and that yeah, was cool. Yeah, it was fine. Wow. It's really amazing. Yeah. And, I mean, I wasn't, you know, I was like, this is cool. But I made that choice myself. Uh, no one forced me to go on the bearhunt.com. And SNL did. And <laughs> Lauren Michaels, we're looking at you. Yeah, Lauren Michaels planted that little you seed. You sick fuck. <laughs> Turn a nice young man like this into something like that. Yeah, let's talk about the <laughs> real enemies here. Lauren Michaels. The real demons. Big media. Getting, Be, hey, whoa, guys, getting, watch. Taking yeah, kids yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Be, care- Be careful. Be, let's, care- uh, let's get, Be whoa, careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. Be careful here. 
be careful. But uh, but yeah, there's a lot of people that you know. I just knew it would. Uh, the th- I just you know. This Sometimes weekend. you gotta get you gotta get people a little, little riled up a little bit, you know. See, the thing is though, it's it's uh, it's unfortunate that you know just because we do sex things for work, you're not allowed to make jokes about stuff, you know. Apparently. Exactly. I don't you even know. know if it is if it's specifically with you guys. No one's allowed to joke about really anything anymore. So no. it's you know. Jokes are just you, jokes, and honestly, if you can joke about something, I feel like that's better. Like it's better to have things out in the open and like talk about things than just like not. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, you people are problematic for society, though. So That being said, how do you get any views and make a career for yourself on the internet if you don't say controversial things? Well, so no, what you do is, is you get a GoPro. You're, like, maybe 15. You get a GoPro, and um, you get, like, a water gun, and you paint it black so it looks like a Glock. <laughs> and then you... <laughs> I feel like I know where this is going. And then you go into Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> with the GoPro on <laughs> and and you fake rob the place yeah. and then a man who's 48 years old and who's been waiting his whole life for this moment <laughs> and has a concealed carry permit pulls out his weapon and his weapon is not a spray painted gun it's a real Glock 19 and he shoots you to death in the Wendy's <laughs> and then you go viral and that's it and that's that's the new that that's new, kids' new dream careers now, is uh, doing weird, gross pranks on YouTube. Or maybe you just go into the Wendy's and you smoke weed. Yeah, well, that's fine, bro. That's not even that bad. It's these weird prank people I don't like. See, this is why I feel like sex is just better than most other things teenagers could be doing. Well, I think it's well. First of all, above eighteen, Jesus Christ. But <laughs> I mean, with each other, not with older people. But, at, f- at 15, 16, Oh, yeah, 17, you fantasize about that a lot, do you now? I was I was having sex with people my age and older, but we'll just say my age. You just said older. You can't, <laughs> you can't take that back. I'm just saying people <laughs> should just... Groom, at, at traffic. Least at least they're, they're sharing the love and they're experiencing intimacy and vulnerability at that age uh, with people their age. Rather older. than <laughs> doing drugs, numbing themselves, I just shooting people. I just the the thing that comes into my head, and obviously I don't have any kids. I hope I pray to any god that's real. I that think you're gonna have kids. I have money on it. I I will be I will commit seppuku on myself. Um, I think you're gonna have kids, but like in a long time. But if if I could find a very wealthy woman, to, that might be okay. Um, we can make that happen. But if you're an OnlyFans girl that makes over like 50k a month, yeah, hit him up. Send me a. He send, wants you. DM me on Twitter. He respects the at, hustle. At real Alex Adams. He'll let you fuck on, whoever you want on, on Twitter. Um, but I just feel like what's more humiliating, or like I guess yeah, more humiliating, or like has less dignity is like making OnlyFans, trying to make some money because you like being a, a sex person, or getting shot in the Wendy's trying to do a prank that nobody is going to watch and you're going to be on the local news yeah. and it's going to just embarrass your whole family. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, could you imagine? Really, that's how you keep your dignity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what's more? I mean, they're both not very dignified, but there's one that's like not going to be all over the fuck. Like, if you need to get into It's the, cool to be undignified. You need to get into the trades, brother. Yeah, I'm going to do I weird shit. Start get in the trades. Well, I think society start needs it. it. But it's just like, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's just like, if, you, if, if like a chick makes an OnlyFans or whatever and it doesn't blow up and she stops doing it after like six months, who cares? Like hardly anyone's ever really going to find out about it. Mm-hmm. But it's like what's worse is having your son be on local news because he got shot in the leg and is now can't walk good because he was trying to do a TikTok prank in the Bank of America. It's like there's you know there's levels to this shit. And obviously people in the comments who don't like us will be like, oh, that's just some weird sex worker cope. And it's like, I'm not a sex worker. It's like, would you rather have a thought daughter or a, uh, I don't know, gay son. school gay shooter? Son. Gay yeah. son. A prank son. Gay son. Gay son. Gay son. No. I'd, rather have a, <laughs> I'd rather have a gay son and a thought daughter t- married than have a prank, a prank person. Because yeah. it's just weird, bro. It's like a thought daughter or a prank shooter son? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I don't want any of that. I really don't want any kids. That's why I'm not trying to do this, but... It's just like people will do any. Props are cool. People will degrade themselves for attention, like yeah. to a ridiculous level. 
Life is just overall degrading. You know? Let's be real about that. Well, that's why people who have shame kink have a better time. It's true. But, you know, it's like, I don't know, dude. It's just one of those, it's just one of those things. It's very, it's very disheartening to see the youth, uh, you know, take this turn instead of trying to make, like, actual good, cool content that... Can you not be on TikTok for like I, listen, ten minutes? This man, let's let's talk about this. It's, it's fucking. He's addicted to TikTok. It's fucking sick. I'm doing business though. He is You're not doing. There's no business. You've he's no business He's become the on new there. TikToker in this. Well, in be, this three it, way we've got going here. I have abandoned TikTok because it hates me, and I'm I have a TikTok blockage right now that I'm trying to get work past. Yeah. Um. This man has become so obsessed with TikTok. I don't know if he can go three minutes without checking it. No, but he's uh, he's kind of always been like that with it. Oh, yeah. You, it's just because I moved here. I've now noticed. Yeah, it. you've been hanging around us a lot. Yeah. So it's like. This is a real addiction to TikTok. You yeah, know, it's bad. For business purposes. Yeah, for the fake bit. Yeah, for the sort fake of. for the fake business. But. It, I mean, he pulls views. No, he, yeah, no, he does. It's just t- TikTok traffic is so nightmarishly horrible. It's like not even worth promoting anything on there. Like he had that. That's because vid- you guys are ugly. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. If you guys were hot women. No, yeah, pulling. no, for hot women, it's cool. If you're a no, guy. Like traffic is down. No, it's like, because he made the video about the chick, about the shoot that we had that didn't go good or whatever. And it got like, I don't know, 2.3 million views, right? Mm-hmm. And off of that, we probably two got. Point, 2.4. 2.4 million views. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> whoa, 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 2.5. Hey, yeah, no, it's. Right like, now. Hold on, right, right now, it's a, it's a 2.51. <laughs> it's like, bro, Jesus Christ. But no, like, that video blew up. And I think, like, the merch site got, like, 3,000 visits from that. That's great. That's terrible. That's like 0.5. That's like not, that's like nothing. It's better than zero, which it was before that Yeah, but nobody bought anything. So it didn't even, we sold one shirt. It didn't even matter. That's valid. (laughs) I'm changing out the, I'm changing out that link. I'm putting like the YouTube probably in the next day or two. What, the podcast? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. We don't need to sell it. <laughs> we don't need to sell it. We didn't. We didn't. But also, we if, didn't no, pay. It's, it's, if a video it's, blew up about Anastasia Knight, maybe. Yeah. I think I'm, we might get more people to actually like click on a YouTube link, possibly, from stuff blowing up. We spent like, $300,000 on t-shirts. We've if sold If you guys 40. know who the Anastasia Knight. Tax right off. Uh, Tax know right Anastasia off. Knight and know the video that we're referencing that's on his shirt, his one. One merch shirt? Do you have one merch shirt only? Yeah. Two, col- yeah. two colors, baby. Two colors. We got two colors. Yeah. If you guys know what that's referencing, can you like mention that in a comment? Because I feel like everybody in the entire world has seen it. Yeah. But I don't know. There might be some people who don't know, and maybe we need to educate the youth. Yeah. I mean... Uh, 18 and above. 18 and above only, no, please. No, you can be any age to buy a shirt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, there's really nothing sexual about that shirt at all. Like, there's literally nothing. On it's there. just a shirt. All it has is the sex addicts hotline on it, which is, I think, helpful for a lot of people. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. TikTok traffic is just kind of trash. And TikTok's trash. You know, China is very clearly winning the culture wars in this country, and it's, it is sickening. I know. They've um, really kicked us out. Uh, yeah, no. They, and, that, and that's why the U.S., that's why, like, the, the government is so pissed about it. Because when you think about it, like 10, 12 years ago, when like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram were all super popular, there was never any concern for privacy or any of these like, oh, trying to ban Instagram. That never happened, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it happening now? It's because, well, the second you get on TikTok, uh, the Chinese government owns your phone. Hell yeah. And and a lot of your personal information. They can have it. Yeah. Well, it's for you. They do have it. They do. <laughs> they do. So that's why the feds are so upset is because all that data is going right back home to China. And they don't like that. Well, I'm fine to give all my data away if they just let me promote my no, tiny but they, little they, 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 they only want it. They don't want it trying to happen. Though. They would like Yeah, they know that the US government I, I might don't get care shot who after this has podcast. it as long as they just let me promote my little company. But they're not doing that. They don't let me. They also don't like small businesses. So no. They are not a fan. But anyway, so yeah, I don't know why I went on that tangent. It's just something I thought about recently, and I figured I would <laughs> bring it up on this weird outlet that I have that I don't want to do, but it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to use the applause button. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too much. You're too much. It's Snaps still, for Nick. Snaps still, for Nick. It's still going. Oh, my goodness. Wow. The people here. 
Um, but anyway. Dad, yeah. do you have anything new to share? Yeah, what do you... Father time, what do you have to share? Uh, the internet is poison. Yep, accurate. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And he, and he <laughs> loves poison. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't, and you can't stop slopping it up. It's Literally, okay. Literally, everything he does is ingesting some type of poison. Yeah. But... Um, you had, a, you had a fun week this week. Uh, Rara was here. He went to the Everglades, mm-hmm. did Everglades trip. We did. We held a little alligator. Yeah, that was fun. That was something. I'm not going to say fun. It was something. It was fun until it wasn't Yeah. Anymore. And then we and then we had a, a tour guide who was very upset about other airboats out there. Yeah. That and was real. It just felt like a real American day. No, that was a Florida Honestly, day. Honestly, Florida feels so... Like I'm connected to the lifeblood of this country. What this country used to be. The yeah. rotted blood of this country. I've lived in a lot of cities. The rotted fucking... It doesn't feel good. Uh, this is what America... Going to diners. Yep. Going to places where animals are have, have been captured and held against their will. Yep. Um, stealing stuff. We stole some popsicles this week. In a video game. Keep going. <laughs> in Minecraft. We borrowed some popsicles. In Minecraft, yep. Strategically um, borrowed. We, what else did we do? I don't know. We, we got, it just felt like a great American week. We went to a bunch of dingy motels and I had to take pictures of you people. Yeah, we did go to a lot of motels, which I realize now that small motels here are only, they only make money by uh, housing crackheads. Essentially, yeah. 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 Call, I didn't really think about that. I was like, oh, people passing through town. We call them the da- we call them the downtrodden. People are yeah. literally living in motels. Yeah. yeah. He lived in a motel for like a week. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. we passed by it. You told me. Yeah. The like, relax- oh, that's where he stayed when he was homeless. <clears throat> yeah, the relax- Yeah, it was in, yeah. uh Yeah, and like every, almost everybody else there was just smoking crack and, and banging hookers and stuff and it was cool. I mean they lived they were uh, another the the heart of America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean the lifeblood really. Yeah. The that's the economy. Blood. That's the American economy. Yeah. Really I enjoy authenticity, you know, authentic things, exactly. rustic experiences, which hardly exists anymore, That's except right. in Florida. It's been all over the place. And I really feel like myself here because that, yeah, I'm going to eat at a diner every day. Very cool. Shout out Lester's actually good food. Take photos next to dumpsters, okay. hang out with the gators, hang out, yep. wear camo, drink monster. You're fitting right in here. I know you, uh, I, I, I love it here. I think you were born to be a Floridian. There are very few people where you feel like, oh, Montana, man. Florida, same thing. I feel like I was raised for this. Yeah. Weirdly, they're across the continent. Yeah. Country. I just, Montana just has way nicer, like, scenery. I don't know. If you like nature. Now, if you like watching, like, two homeless men have <laughs> sex with each other, the Florida hits. here is beautiful. Undefeated. I guess it is kind of swamp-like, but it's beautiful. No, it is, it is super nice, but it's like, I don't know. I like the mountains. The swamp is cool and stuff. But Well, I'm going to Montana next week. You know. Oh, yeah, you are. That's right. Yeah, back to my hometown. Back to old, I'm excited. old Butte, Montana. See, this is what makes me feel like myself, but then I have to go back to L.A. after that. And Ooh, live the city life. That's gross. Yeah, but at least I get to have sex with lots of beautiful women when I'm there. Yeah. But yeah, I think Let's I'm, I'm be just, nice. I'm kind of done with cities. <laughs> I think I like moving on to cities. I like living somewhere where... The like, even city. you look out the windows in my house and it's just nature and it's so pretty. Yeah. No, it's a good it's a good spot. Wouldn't yeah. you much be rather cramped inside a little box and just see nothing but concrete and steel? Yeah. yeah. And I've get been ro- through that. And have to like... Like really worry about getting robbed the second you leave your home. You know the the I will say this week I did start it, start getting some nostalgia for New York City. You're a sick. Which I, <laughs> I I did start being like you know what everything's just cool there. Like there's something about that's like it brings something out in you when you just have to like everything's struggle. all mushed into one. Like you walk outside and it's just every class of society mushed into the same sidewalk. I mean, people but it, selling hot dogs, people shitting in the street. Yeah, like it, during <laughs> school there, I would just walk. I'd be going to class, to going to study, right? And then you're just walking by like schizophrenic extreme screaming. wealth and these massive buildings and like infrastructure and also just like dead homeless people on the street. And yeah. you just get to see all levels and it's just a mind fuck. And yeah. something about, and then you go back to your little cramped <laughs> apartment that's like dirty and it looks like a hoarder's house. And it, it's just, it's a cool aesthetic. Saying, because I'm from Long Island, <laughs> right? And I've spent... I spent a little bit of time in the city, and I regret almost all that time. I, saying that you're nostalgic for New York City reminds me of being like nostalgic for when I was in the hospital with salmonella poison. I don't, it's not like I want to live there again, but you have to admit there is a cool the underbelly of New York, like that that culture underneath all the shit, it, it makes you cool. 
there, yeah, but there, see, there's really like in my mind, and maybe I'm wrong because I'm wrong about a lot of things, but in my mind, there's only really two cool kind of aesthetics to New York City, which is either insane wealth, ridiculous helicoptering everywhere, billionaires, mm -hmm. you never drive yourself, you're in big escalades all the time, going to fancy restaurants, Ruth Chris. I don't which even know. I don't even think it's cool. Whatever. And then there's what you think is cool, which is like the dingy, like grungy, fake art scene. Heroin addict. Gr yeah, graffiti. You gotta be like a top Young, Wall Street guy or like a fashion heroin kids. addict. Yeah, or like a, yeah. like handsome, a, yeah. a handsome young heroin addict. No, there's just addict. like yeah. tons of, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 to 26 year old kids that are just like running around, nothing to do, taking weird photos. Drowning wearing in. Wearing weird clothing. Drowning in debt and self loathing You can just like walk around there in the weirdest outfits ever. No one even looks at you weird because it's just. Well, because yeah, the whole place is a fucking mess. Yeah. Go on, you know, it's like, it's like the people who I see on the internet, mostly on Reddit, who complain about like cars and how like, oh, this country was made to, uh, you know, essentially engineered to need a car and they complain about it. Right. And I'm not completely disagreeing with them. Also, I would love to see those people take the subway every day and see the unmitigated fucking horrors that happen on that I think on honestly, that everybody should do that because I took the subway to school every day for four years and I came up with some of my best ideas there. And, but how many horrific things did you say? Um, not a lot. And I was always, I, I was kind of crazy. I was always just alone, young, single but girl you went to, on the train. You went to NYU. Yeah, but okay. So I didn't take the subway like out, out yeah, of Manhattan. Take, yeah, or anything take it out much. of Manhattan. But still in Manhattan, I saw a lot of things. But I think seeing a lot of things is good. I seeing a lot of things once or twice is good. Seeing them every single fucking day. Yeah, is is a bit is a bit much. Yeah, um, but I it's agree. It's good for the soul. But it, see, that's the thing is like it, it, people like to compare this country to like, oh, but like oh, you can get around Japan so much easier. It's so much cleaner. The trains are like great. Like London taking the tube everywhere, amazing. The I tube hate in how London they, is so good. I hate how they call it the tube. It's so it bothers it, literally. Me. It it's bother game me. changing. I love the tube. Other than the fact, get in the tube, the seats there. <laughs> are often carpet or like material. Oh God. Which is really bad just because big, you just fat, feel like someone's sweaty. peed on it. A guy just had a, a big British breakfast. He's but the, sweating But the tube everywhere. is a lifesaver. It's amazing. The subway, uh, well, when was it built? Like the 80s? It's horrible. It was built in like the 1880s. Yes. Like the 1880s. Like 100, yeah, like 150 years ago. Yeah, that's when most of it was built. You're joking. No, look it up. That's like true. Like they've improved and they've done new things, but it was built like a hundred years ago. Yeah, because I feel like ago. in the 80s is when they built the, the metal train cars that they have That's now. when they started doing those. Yeah. But it's like, and they suck I don't know. I feel, the thing is, is like London, I wanted to have a, a, a moment, but L London is like a place where it feels like they made that system specifically for that to get around that place. Yes. Efficiently. Yes. At least somewhat efficiently. Mm -hmm. New York City, it's just, it's fucking cobbled together. Yeah, it's the, horrible. The whole thing, it's, it, you've no idea where you're going. Everywhere smells like pee. Yeah, everyone's shitting in the street. People live in there. Some people do it for art, some for sports, because mm -hmm. they have no choice. Mm -hmm. You know, it just doesn't, it's not made for that. You know, and, and in Japan, every, you know, because I, I watched this guy, he's like a uh, Canadian Asian guy. His dad's like a really famous chef and he like makes vlogs and stuff. I love him very much. He makes kind of cool content, like old, old feeling YouTube content. Mm -hmm. And he went to Japan. He was like, oh, my God, everything is so clean here. Everyone is so polite. Yeah. It's amazing. The trains Culturally, are... Literally, Americans just can't pull that off. Well, but also, Japan has, like, the highest suicide rate in the world. Yeah. So it's like... Hey. You're clean so until what? you're not. The streets are clean, but that's because someone just mopped up the guy who jumped out of a building. They know how to make a good video game, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, God. So it's I because culturally you're Japanese, so kept I'm... and repressed, and then... yeah. It's called having a little Whereas bit of Whereas here, at least we're messy outwardly. You are someone who likes feet and Dark Souls games. That's right. You are not only not repressed, you are a part of the problem. He's like the, the least repressed person. Yeah. Which is so great. This yeah. is what you become. Yeah. When you, you like, don't repress anything. You like feet and TikTok and uh, Asian video games. <laughs> mm -hmm. which, is, which is fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's Woo. worse. There's worse. <laughs> there's worse things you could be doing. But I don't know. It's just, you know, different cultures are, di are different, which is my uh, big brain take. That was a great take. Thank you. Thank I you. honestly love being part of the American culture. I'm super happy I'm American. I wouldn't say I'm proud of everything <laughs> that America does. Um, do I love living in Europe? Yes. 
Do I miss it sometimes? Yes. But I'm really happy to be American. I just I, find it cool. I think the aesthetic is cool. It's just we're quite rebellious, <laughs> a little messy, kind of a shit show. USA, USA. No, Delusional like confidence. Raytheon. Lockheed Martin. Raytheon. Lockheed Martin. <laughs> See, this is why it's just so great. And I love, I love the American diner I love our experience. defense contractors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. American food's good. See, I think, I think it'd be cool to live in Europe if I like didn't have to work. Yeah, you just like get a plot of land in Portugal. You don't pay taxes. See, that's how you we just vibe. That's how we know you've been places because you immediately off the rip specifically mentioned a country not paying taxes, farming, agriculture. Yeah. Um, that's a dream, honestly. But I think that'd be cool. I think like if you have to actually work in Europe and you're like in the lower to lower middle class, it's probably the same hell as America. It's probably not. It's probably not crazy. It sucks to be poor everywhere, but I'd rather be poor in Europe. Really? Not gonna lie. Yeah, everything's so cheap there. Is it? Not in London, but like a lot of other places. Yeah, like if you're just poor in Spain, I'd love to be just poor in Spain. That'd be cool. Poor in France. Because I have a... It's not bad. I have a friend who who lives over in Europe, and he said everything is... Well, I mean, he lives in Germany, but... He Germany... Said, he said everything is super expensive. Germany is expensive. And it sucks. And, um... I don't... I wouldn't want to be poor in Germany. Or, like, poor in, like, a, a, a Slavic country. Excuse... Whoa. Excuse <laughs> me. Well, because it's, like, cold and, 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 and brutalist... You know, like yeah, all the architecture has no has has no color. See, me, you gotta remember, me and Nick are American pig people. So you want to be poor in like it's south of France. Well, not many poor people are there. You want to be well, poor in uh, I can't in see Spain. Her. It's, 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 it's giving me. You know what I mean? Schisms. Thank you, sir. Um, but Germany and I mean Berlin's cool, but I would not want to be poor there. It's too dark half the year. Sprechen Sie, sprechen Sie Deutsch. You don't say. We yeah, should I don't do know. a podcast Europe tour. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to just sit in an, in a European cafe and just rant like a big fat American. I would literally pig. love to see what you two are like in Europe. Oh, I don't know if you want to. see I that. feel like I would get. Do you want to go on a, a Europe of, trip? I'll go. I feel like I would get in uh, us two and Corinna. August, people. we go to Ibiza. We go to Mykonos. Yeah. We just see what happens. I, I would go literally anywhere with you. Yeah. Because you're you're cool. I know. I'm a good traveler. Yeah. I th- I feel like that's the thing is I feel like if me and him went alone. We'd go there. We'd be like, "Yo, you have five guys." They'd be like, "Nope." We're like, "Get back on the plane." Yeah, we're going bad. Home. But with you, it'd be, it'd be better because you know how to go. You well, know that's how to why do I things. took. That's why I took Sky and Ra Ra to um, Europe for a month because I just planned it all. Yeah. And like, I just go by the day. So I'm like, "All right, you guys want to go in two days to like Spain?" And then I just plan it, and then we go. And then once yeah. we're in Spain, we're like, "Where should we go next? Amsterdam?" And then we just go to Amsterdam. And because yeah, because when I tra- and I plan it all. Yeah, when I travel with you, I feel like I'm traveling with like the, like the CEO of Pepsi. You know, and I, and I got good taste. Yeah, because you're kind of like glamorous, but not like in a weird, in a cringe way. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I like boutique hotels, yeah. nice little restaurants, nowhere with crowds. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm with I'm with the boss right now. My parents trained me very well. Yeah. No, they, they really did. They did a super good job of, of you knowing how to navigate. Just, just in general. They yeah. Great I've had job. to navigate the nicer things. See, my parents yeah. did a terrible job. I'm a complete nightmare. Yeah. But, you know, I really, agreed. I belong in the swamp with the gators. I'm going to give you guys some European culture. I would like it. I would like to. I'll take you there. I really need to go there because my dad just had a baby. Oh, that's right. My half brother. Yeah. And I want to go meet him. That's but pretty cool. But he's just so far away. Yeah. It's a lo- How long is that flight from here to there? I think from LA, it's 11 hours. Jesus Christ. From from New York, it's six hours. That's not bad. No. That, I, I, and I how can, far are we from New York? Not that far, right? Like three hours. Well, now, you could, probably, you could fly right to London from here. Yeah. I don't know how far it is. No, it's probably like seven hours or something. That's not too bad. I just can't. Like, I hear about guys going from, like, L.A. to Dubai, and it's, like, 23 hours, that kind of thing, or, like, going to Australia, like, I would just love to do it, but the flight sounds so... I just can't do it. Yeah, I used to have... I don't have it in me. When I would... I used to play this really shitty video game called Combat Arms, and if anyone is still listening and knows Combat Arms, please leave a comment, because I would love to know. It was a shit... It was so poorly made. You could literally... It was like an online shooter game, video game, and you could, <laughs> and you could unplug your, you could literally unplug your internet, run around and kill everyone and plug your internet back in <laughs> and they would all be dead, right? And, That's amazing. And, and they only had like one set of servers for everybody. So Australians would play and since they're like literally down under, their ping, their connection would be super slow. So they would just kill you around corners and shit. 
And we would always scream at them and treat them like lessers. Um, That's cool. And their women would hit on me and say I sounded sexy, which was weird. That's weird. They liked your accent. They yeah. did that in, uh, in England always. They were like, whenever I'd go to a store, they'd be like, oh my God, I love your accent. And I was like, wow, I always thought that my accent was ugly compared to well, British Well, a accent. lot of the, the uh, females over there in old, old London, England town. London town. Are probably a little, they look a little different. Yeah. So you were probably. Are you calling them ugly? Breath of fresh air. I'm, I'm saying they're uh, different. We're saying different. <laughs> in a bad way. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> Jesus, but um, but yeah, I would totally. I mean, but that's what happens when you eat, you know, piles of fish and chips and and pudding and blood sausages and and beans and mashed peas and. There's lots of beautiful British away. people, but let's be honest. Okay, first of all, London. There's like no British people left in London. It's only outside of they've been eradicated London. from their home. Yeah, it's just so foreign at this point. Yeah. London, it's all foreign money. But outside of London, the rest of the UK. We can be fully honest and say British people do have some weak bone structure. <laughs> some beautiful women, though, yeah. exist in that country and beautiful accents. So it makes up for it. I did go to Manchester recently. Manchester. Um, I was like doing The bad style there accents. is like 2013 clothing, makeup, lip injections. Yeah, no, beyond. it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like it hasn't moved into the have present you, day. Have you ever heard of that show, uh, like One Way to Essex or whatever? It's like no. Jersey Shore, but for British people. Oh, yeah. And it's just these. They look like Jersey Shore. Yeah, there. no, it's just these gross, over tanned British women with was huge lips. Was it an lips. absolute blast? Everyone was getting absolutely wasted that's and partying. Of, it was so fun. That's all of Britain outside yeah. of London. But the, but the fashion, I was shocked. I was like, they are literally stuck in. 2013. And guess what? They're never changing. Probably not. Not for you, not for no one. Which you know what? I do kind of miss it. Yeah. 2013. I like shitting on other people's fashion and then dressing the way I do, which is objectively also terrible. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel superior in any way, to be honest, with what I wear because I just wear random shit. Like I haven't gotten a haircut in But it's just shocking that it hasn't changed. I don't know. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, that's kind of like a smaller place, I think. And like, I feel like- It's pretty big. Is it mm-hmm. Manchester? Mm-hmm. I just big city. I've always heard that like they have their own like weird subculture. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's always like Manchester is like way different than the rest of England. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like have you guys ever watched Love Island? UK? No, I've heard many. Well, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna it. get you guys on it. I've been watching Love Island for the longest time ever since I was well since college, but because all my friends since I went to high school there all my friends watched it yeah and uh it's literally such an insanely savage great show and it's so good because it's all british people from you some from london but usually it's from like the outskirts of of the uk yeah which is horrible style not so very cool. educated yeah just perfect television sounds a lot like me to dumb be people honest. make good television yeah, well, I mean, that's why Jersey Shore was a hit. Dumb and pure. Yeah, I and mean, that's why people watch, you know, Real Housewives. Yeah, I love trash TV like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like a weird, I just feel like that's like weird, repressed, idolized American culture over there. Kind but from a, but from 10 years ago. Yep. You know what I mean? Like no, one, no one's doing like big lips anymore, or like super spray tans. No. You know what I mean? Like big fake boobs or whatever. No one's doing that. We live in this is BB- we're getting cool. This is BBL country now. Oh God, yeah. I feel like BBLs are going out of style. If anyone's still I've, getting BBLs today, I'm kind of surprised. I read an article, mm-hmm. Yahoo.com, great news source. Shout out to them, um, which they stole from some other website uh, about that people are doing like it's they're called micro BBLs. Now. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, I feel like the big because it always starts that people overdo it, right? Two big lip injections, two big BBLs. Now it's like people get natural looking boob jobs. They get a tiny bit of lip filler to still look natural, and then they get a tiny bit in their butt. That's what that's what I've, I've seen. Like like girl TikToks, uh, which I don't know why I was getting, but I've gotten them. Yeah, before. what's what's wrong with you, pal? Huh? You want a BBL? I mean, I wouldn't mind one. You're paying for it, <laughs> <laughs> but the like I've, I've seen like a, like a chick be like I've seen multiple ones about this to be honest, but like oh like the girls that look naturally beautiful and they're so and they're like 22 and they've had all kinds of work done, mm-hmm. they have all kinds of work done like yeah. and I'm kind of like maybe or maybe you guys are a little. Yeah, there's some really beautiful women that have had work done, and there's others that haven't. 
But they're I like, could be you way can't hotter tell. if I you had worked You can't even tell. Out. It's like they do it this way. And it's and then it's like all the people in the comments like, this makes me feel so much better about being absolutely disgusting. And, <laughs> and then thank you so much for... <laughs> it's like... Just yeah, like that every attractive woman well, I think has gotten tons I, and tons of work done. Well, I think it's like over the past like 10, 15 years that has become so much more like casual and accessible. Like, yeah. Plastic surgery, like every single girl gets something done. Yeah. Like, well, especially now, cause it's like, you don't even need to go to like a real doctor. You go to a med spa. Yeah. And they, and they, which shoot, is even worse. No, it's crazy. And they like shoot your lips up and your face up and your ass up and your and eyes up. And it's up. just like a nurse doing it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's some chick who literally they found outside of fucking, uh, DeVry in a strip mall. And who has her nursing certificate that she paid probably like three thousand dollars for? And it's like, hey, here's this needle full of Botox, which is just botulism in a needle. Let really? me put this in your face. You know, you what, I know mean? what I learned a while ago that changed a lot for me. The truth. The largest uh, demographic that frequents aesthetics spas or you know yeah. med spas gets aesthetic work done or even plastic surgery in general Cis is white males lower middle class women oh yeah it, no, the course. lower middle class is keeping the aesthetics industry alive and people i think a lot of times think it's not that way but then if you actually look at like you know the people who are getting all this work done it's like you're trying to be something you know what i mean you're trying oh, to change yeah. your look well, if you already have money the, the wealthier people, yes, wealthy older women get Botox sometimes. Yeah, but they'll go to a but real doctor. But in general, though, honestly, the actual wealthy older women they that aren't to, like on, they're not on the internet. No. They don't need their lips done. They don't need their boobs done. They don't need Botox. And they'll go, like, and they'll go to a real doctor. Well, yeah, they'll go to a real doctor. But I just mean in general, aesthetics in general, like whether you're getting Botox from a real doctor oh, or not. Oh, yeah. It's all, it's, it's, well, it's like kept alive by the lower middle class. Yeah, I mean, well, it's just like now everyone is going to be on fucking... Ozempic, yes, and millions of diabetics. Yeah, are I need to get some of that. Give, give and, some of that. You're not getting on Ozempic. It's you're just like all that. things that that try and make girls like. It's like girls think they need to do it to to be I more want, beautiful or be a part of a higher class. But it's like well, Ozempic. If covers, you actually have why? money, you don't need that shit. Ozempic covers everybody, why? men and women. The fact so many people are on Ozempic is crazy. If you're on that. <laughs> Get off of it and and eat less and move more. Why? Enough. Yeah, like eat less, work out. It, I know Enough. that it's hard, but the thing is, like, don't. Wouldn't you rather gain strength and like? The no, ability? I want to be. I want to eat Doritos. What? No, but my my listen. Mental strength. My thing is, you're banned from talking this podcast. Why? <laughs> Why can't why, why can't if they he make? Ozempic, he could have food in his house and he could just snack all the time. But what's the problem? The, the Ozempic, it makes you not want to eat that much. Yeah. yeah. Why? My question <laughs> he needs to Ozempic. the doctors out there and everybody listening in the audience, why can't they make a pill? I take the pill once a day and I get to eat like a complete fucking pig person all the time and somehow I don't gain any calories from that. It's called bulimia. Uh, except you vomit. <laughs> yeah. But I want to take a pill and do that. Well, no, you get the vomit instead. See, the well, thing about this wrap, is then, then we'll why just can't never encase able... my bowels and internal organs in something that can't absorb calories? <laughs> and you just shit it all out. Yeah, because you would die from I think that'd be from so me. cool. Sign me up. Sign me up. I want to eat the, the pig person pill where I get to eat eighteen cheeseburgers and three bowls of ice cream and a couple bags of chip chippies and chippies. <laughs> Three like three liters of you, soda. You calling them chippies was so disturbing to me. See, just this now. is why society and humans in general are just. I like eating get food. Worse. Food tastes good. Exactly. That's all I have to say on that. No self control anymore. <laughs> humans always just want to do that. We want to just like continue to just be weaker and weaker and have no. Well, no, you just well because that's the thing is like he's joking about it, but like I'm he, not. I'm no, he's serious. literally not joking though because because this he's, is this is real. Yeah, but no, but he also understands that like. You know, he's lost like 120, 130 pounds over the past like three, four years. And he didn't do it with any of that shit. He just did it by eating once a day and working out. Mm -hmm. And, you know. Uh, Fucking sucks. Yeah, it's terrible. But <laughs> it, that's what you have to do to be in shape. Exactly. There needs to be a price. That's what you have to do to be a successful there, human. That's the thing is there needs to be. Biologically. A, there needs to be a price for things. It can't not. You, you don't get the, the reward without the risk. Yeah, we don't just get to be fat lards that sit yeah. around and like get driven around by our wheelchair and like do nothing. Well, that's what we have we're to doing. walk places. We have to if you use could, our bodies. No, now, right now you just assaulted most people that shop at Walmart, and they're not going to be you happy know, about that. Wally, you know the end of the movie Wally. Yeah, where they're all just big fat lards that 
Yeah. That don't use any of their limbs. Super, and they just like press buttons on, on the screen. Super ableist of you to say that's not a good thing. If you, super ableist. <laughs> if you have to use a wheelchair, that's different. If you're going to be like the sloth people at the end of Wally, that's another thing. Thyroid condition. I have a thyroid that's condition. That's real. I don't know. It's just because the thing with the Ozempic stuff, man, is like everyone is on it and you can literally never get off it. Like the second you get off it, your cravings come right back. See, that's the thing because like if you you don't learn willpower and you don't learn how to exist in a world with unlimited food. That's a perfect drug right there. Then (laughs) like you're hooked That's a perfect drug. For for the companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I would rather I'm just thinking about how big the guy's yachts are. It's the same reason like in college. 500 feet. People told you not to cheat. Helipad. You know what I mean? Like in high school, college, they're like, okay, you can cheat on your exams and get good grades and make it through school, but then you'll actually learn nothing. Whereas you could not cheat, maybe get some bad scores here and there, but learn how to learn, learn how to function TikTok, in school. TikTok told, has told me many times that uh, I need to lie on my resume and I don't need any experience and I'll just learn on the job. And it's That's fine. also a valid <laughs> point. My first day at NASA. Yeah. <laughs> Let's launch Another a shuttle. thing about life is just being overly confident that you can get your work your way into anything. Yeah. Well, I think it's you know there's like a there's like a fine line between like confidence and like being realistic. It's like I'm confident that I can do this job, but also don't write checks that you can't cash. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Because that's how a lot of life is convincing not only yourself but other people that you can accomplish things. Yeah, that's most job interviews. Taking some risks. Yeah, it's like most, jumping off the cliff. Most job interviews that I've ever gone to, did I have the exact set of skills that they wanted? No, but was I able to learn those skills and do those things? Yeah. Yeah. You just have to convince them that you're able to learn and like actually do shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Like this job, I completely lied. I said I've been doing porn for a decade. You know, I said, hey, I've been. When I looked at this hole. I was like, I, that doesn't look like a bud. I said, I said, I had this I had special treatment at a med spa. Don't worry about it. I said, that's fine. That's what I need to get. I said, I've been. One of those butthole tightening things. Yeah, I've been direct, uh, injecting Ozempic directly into my asshole, <laughs> keeping it real. Keeping it nice and skinny. Yeah, but I said, hey, man, I've been jizzing. I've been slanging, slanging wang for a long time. Slanging wang. You know what I mean? I've been doing a lot out here. And I'd love to come and. I've been coming and pissing and shitting and. Yeah. Jizzing. On camera, off camera. Inside, outside, wherever needed. I'd love to come and work for a, uh, you know, a real a, a titan of the industry like you, and uh, carry around women's clothing and enemas, and 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 you know, really start from the bottom again. And uh, you know, so that's what that you know, that's what I that's what we've been doing here. You're doing a great job too. Thank you. I'm I'm trying, but I'm also very crippling depressed. But um, we're, we're gonna we'll we'll start we'll start making money to pay you soon. I hope so, man. I. <laughs> Bank of America is so... I haven't paid the Raptor pill in like six months. They're so <laughs> pissed. But um, You're a little behind, so what? Yeah. He needs to keep all his money for his cars. Yeah. I saw can't, t- I can't saw have a, everything. I was just exactly. talking about TikTok. I'm just like, I saw a TikTok. Yeah, I saw this one TikTok. I don't, I don't, we- <laughs> I d- I don't weave my house. I saw this one I got t- this TikTok <laughs> the other bro, day. He just lives on TikTok. <laughs> dude, it's so bad. There's a lot of good content on there. Most A lot of bad content as well. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like so traumatized by TikTok in that like I... I had years of just view, seeing everyone else's lives on there and being so involved in other people's lives that yeah. now that I've taken a good six month break from really consuming TikTok content, it feels so good to just know about my own life. Like I don't know what any other influencer is doing. I don't know about any other person's life. Yeah. So when I go on TikTok or he shows them to me and I like have this, I, I don't know, I, I have a bad reaction. Like internally I start feeling gross. Like, oh God, my real life's slipping away. I'm falling into that's the what you're pit that's, that's, of TikTok. That's, it's working. That's what you're supposed to feel like. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. I want to ever that's go back, but I know I got like. to. I don't want to go back, but I know I got to. It's like a kid having to go back to school. You're supposed to sit in your car before you go into the LA Fitness. <laughs> I want make, a new app. And try to make a video answering some question about a penis size. Can like rush our ten times. Asian make a new TikTok? No. And then, and then ultimately decide none of them are good and you just... Don't film anything. You've been sitting in your car for 40 minutes and you go inside. You feel disgusting. I've done that so many times. <laughs> yeah. He's You're like, great. Another non-successful day. There has been times he's told me he's drove to the gym, sat in the car for 20 minutes looking at TikToks, realized he doesn't have enough time to go work out, and then has driven home. Yeah, well, because sometimes the maid's got to be there or somebody's got to do something. And then she's like, well, I better get out of my house and go sit in my car. What's well, important? Well, no, I thought I had enough time, and I, I don't sometimes. 
But um, yeah, I don't know. I I hate TikTok. I've never downloaded. I never will. I have enough spyware on my phone as it is. Um, and I I like re- I like real experiences. That's why I bought a pickup truck because I like getting out there, experiencing the world, oh, and, trails, yeah, the trails exactly. in all its in all its splendor. Going on, hitting the dunes. Mm-hmm. Now I haven't I haven't done that yet. Uh, it's been about three months I've had the truck. Uh, it's because my one friend who was supposed to do adventure days with me has abandoned me completely. Yeah. Um, and now you're here, which mm-hmm. you're, you're my new adventure friend. Mm-hmm. Um, when you start going on more walks. Yeah. Yeah. You need to start exercising. So again. what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about the watch thing, how, how you and Dan wanted me to finance a Rolex and how much I hate watches. They want you to get drippy. Yeah. And how much I hate watches. And if... It's if, a good decision. And if anyone if anyone in the audience is a watch fan <laughs> and you're not making like 200k a year, get a new fucking hobby cuz it's it, it it it's arguably the stupidest thing to like unless you have literally millions of dollars. Yeah. Um cuz you can get a fake one for one one hundredth of the price of the real one, and it will look ninety eight percent as real to the point where people will not be able to tell it's, it's the fake. Principle of the thing. Yeah, Nick, I, I, I told you this. Before. No, yeah, he was, ex- yeah, he was explaining this. Listen, to me. Like Nick earlier was talking about watch. I was showing him some uh, Royal Oak. I was explaining to him the difference because he's an idiot, doesn't know anything about life. Correct. I was showing him to explain the difference between a uh, Royal Oak offshore and a regular Royal Oak. And then he asked me about my Daytona, and you know he said like, but you made sure you know you you got the the papers in the box and you, you know everything for it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, who gives a fuck? It doesn't matter if it's real or not. What matters is I put twenty k down on the desk and got this watch. If it's real or fake, who's to say? It's fake. I know it's I, fake. It's real to me. <laughs> That and money, that money was real to me. That that was real money that I gave. Uh, hopefully, they did their end. <laughs> they did their due diligence and sold me a real watch, a real Rolex Daytona. If not, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But just imagine, because if you, because listen, because if you if you get a fake Rolex, which I know a guy who actually makes a lot of money, mostly because of his wife, but he still they legitimately have some real money. It was showed me he was wearing a fake Rolex. Admitted it to me. He's like, oh, I got this one because I'm not buying, I'm not spending all that money on a real one. King. And the, the absolute most, I just feel like that is such an indictment. I can't, there's only a few things I can think are, are, are a worse indictment of a man's character than wearing a fake watch. And actually, Valid. and actually having money. If you actually have real money well, yeah, and you're wearing a fake watch, well, that's, you are a sick fuck. Well, it just makes people posers. The thing is just don't wear a watch anyway. Well, like, no, be I really don't. rich and just don't even have a Rolex. Well, that's the thing is once I got my hands tattooed, I'm like, oh, this is the ultimate accessory. I don't need a watch anymore. Yeah, you don't need a watch. Because I went through a period. I went through a, br- a brief. Flexing pe- is lame. Yeah, I went through a brief period where I was Armenian for like three or four months. And I had the watch. I had the rings. I had the bracelet. Interesting. I had to be, you know, I had a white BMW. I was an Armenian man yeah, yeah. for, and and it was a it was a brighter time in my life. And now you're trying out pickup truck, no jewelry, white American man. Yeah, well, I've been doing that since since mm-hmm. I stopped being Armenian two years ago. But it's like, you know, I just the watch thing to me is so stupid because it it's it's that it's like it represents everything that's wrong with society in like this social media fetishization of being wealthy, crypto, yeah. F one, yeah, and I and all those things. I hate all of them. Exactly. Like, Americans who are into F1, it's fucking weird, bro. It's fucking weird. It's like I will see so many people that are like up at 4 a.m. to watch F1 this week on Sunday. I, I can't imagine I knowing F1. anything about know anything F1 about unless I was worth at least like $300 million. Yeah. If I, I make a few hundred million dollars, then maybe I'll get an F1. What Otherwise, do they do at it's F1? Like, it's just like really fancy cars around a track. And do they like compete or they just yeah. like drive around? No, they're competing. It's a bit, it's like NASCAR, but for Europeans. Yeah, but it's real. It's truly like a really disgustingly wealthy people sport. Yeah, no, it is. Even the F1 d- drivers all make like 30, uh, 30, 40 million a year yeah. at least. At least. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Like Lewis Hamilton, he's like one of the biggest drivers ever. He's worth like three, four hundred million dollars. Damn. Yeah. He had a he had a Pagani Zonda R manual. That he sold to some guy for like ten million dollars. It was one of one. They made it just for him. Wow. So it's like F one is really a very wealthy, 
European sport, like a like a yeah, because it's like that's that's part of the like the what like billionaire circuit or whatever. Yeah, it's going like the Monaco and the different yeah, like F one yeah. stuff, mm-hmm. and we'll we'll find out about all that stuff Rich one day. One of these days, <laughs> we're gonna break in and find out. Yeah, because you got to go like because I I watch TikToks about this too, the billionaires circuit. I you know because it starts sure. the year billionaire billionaires calendar year. It starts in like St. Bart's, I think. Oh, mm-hmm. you go to the yacht thing and St. You know, lovely, and then you go over to. I don't know, Tulum's in there at some point. There's a lot of see if I lot was of a places I like, really don't even know. Like, I've like, heard about it like three I, times. I like how you're like I watch TikTok, then proceed to list two places. And just yeah. if I was a billionaire, stuck. I would not go to all the places where all the people who think that rich people go, so wow. then they go there to try and be fake rich people. Well, you do. It, I would just go it. go out in the in the country, in Switzerland or something, and just vibe. Well, you do. You see, you know, some of them, you know, you know, you go to a few of them. You don't have to go to all of them. You get a house in Mallorca because the bees is too filled with fake rich party people, and you go to Mallorca, which is right next to it, and you have a big plot of land, and no one's there. Yeah, and no, it's I go quiet to Mallorca and relaxing. Too. Yeah, Mallorca's definitely the most. I go to Mallorca all the time. Real billionaire would do. See, My dad. Used the to wild thing there. is, like, me and Nick have really not, not, no affiliation with any of this kind of shit. No, but like Stella, legit, like. Has partaken in some of this. She yeah. knows people that she's can a do well. This tra- shit. Yeah, she's a well, well traveled. I, just, I wasn't raised in Florida. No, I was. Well, it must be nice. I It'd mean, nice. I've had a few. Well, I don't know. I just feel like if if you were actually, it's just not, it's not all it's cracked up to be. But also, don't we worry, need to stop focusing to, on buying fake it's Rolexes. It's better to just be poor. No, we need to just we need to <laughs> grind so we become billionaires instead of just focusing on being fake. Look alike billionaires. We can't have the fake Rolex. We just need to grind. I just I'm, to be get real. I'm gonna Rolexes. give you my fake Rolex. I'm gonna my buy a fake said Richard Rolexes Mill. were overrated anyway. And then we're gonna get lip injections, <laughs> micro BBLs, plastic surgery, watches, you, cars. You give me that clothes. watch. I'm getting a wide body Hellcat. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I feel like the only jewelry that I can ever wear is family jewelry. Like stuff my parents gave me because otherwise I feel like such a poser. Like I bought jewelry for myself. I just then again though, if I had millions of dollars, I might just buy jewelry my, all the time. I just like my dad doesn't wear any jewelry, and I don't even know why I'm bringing it. I barely talk to him, or and I'm not really that much. I'm actually probably everyone uh, wants to be like their dad. I'm apparently. actually probably a lot like him, but I barely talk to him. Um, but he doesn't wear any jewelry. My mom wears a lot of jewelry. She's always got her baubles on and shit. <laughs> my brother wears a lot of jewelry. He's always been a very eclectic young man. I just have never really fucked with it. Like, yeah, because I grew up, you know, sh- uh, shithole Long Island. You know, you're a little Italian kid. You're supposed to wear like a chain and a cross. And I tried that. I'm like, and I, I got it caught on a tree once. And I'm like, this is fucking <laughs> stupid. I hate this. Do you feel like simplicity? There's something nice about it. I don't know. Like for me, yeah, for me, it's like I like having the the little the little gay hoop earrings, the little tiny hoops. I like that. Do you have earrings? Yeah, I do. I have black hoop earrings. Oh yeah, yeah, I knew that. But. I forgot you have ears. But the, thank you. <laughs> I know because I look like a fucking robot wearing the headset. <laughs> but I don't know. I just don't like. Like I thought about getting my nose pierced, but then I was like worried about like, am I going to be able to pick my nose the same? Yeah, and if you get a booger stuck in it. Yeah, that I, I was talking to you and Rara about that the other day. I think you should get an eyebrow piercing. Ugh, bro. I just I've heard that those are nightmares. I've heard. One, oh, Rara did say they are. Yeah, I've heard they really fucking hurt, and then they get infected super easily. Can I get another piercing in my ear? You could. Or will it look messy? That's the thing. Sometimes simplicity is best. I, don't, I mean, I think you'll look Can good. I go pee? Yeah, go ahead. I'm allowed. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is the Stella Berry Piss Break, sponsored by Kleenex. She pisses She pisses real loud, guys. Real loud. You're about to hear a fucking roaring storm. You're about to hear a typhoon of urine. Anyway, this is how the show used to be. Yeah. You had a few minutes of the way the show used to be. Yeah. And it got no views and no one cared about it, so... Maybe I was on TikTok the other day. <laughs> we used to talk about cars. Well, yeah, that was bad. That was real bad. Yeah. But I'm very close, guys. I'm very, very close. Anybody following the GT4, my saga. car nightmare saga journey? Yep. Talked to Rick today. He answered the phone for once. It's old, been about a old Ricky DeMond. Two weeks and he answered the phone and he, he said he was vacationing. He's put about like four or five hundred miles on the car. <laughs> Tested it out, which I honestly I'm very grateful for. Thank you, Rick. Because I don't want to do the 800 mile break in thing. I don't blame you. It's a nightmare. I did it but, with the uh, M4. It sucked. That's almost done, and the car should be ready to get shipped probably in the next few days. Hopefully, somebody named Jay or something's going to hopefully reach out to me. Sweet. And uh, I'll have I'll have the GT4, and then uh, we put some wheels on it, a few other little things, and then I will never buy a fucking 
car ever again. Folks, you've heard it here. Uh, one minute, uh, one hour, four minutes, 40 seconds of this podcast. Alex Adams confirming he will never buy a car again. Uh, if he does, feel free to show up at his house with guns. If he does, we're going to clip this. <laughs> yeah. Put a picture of the car after it. Yep. Shame him. Like next week, I'm going to be like, look at this turbo ass, Nick. This is a good deal. It's gorgeous. Look, look at this spec. Look, look, it's blue with the tan I mean, interior. I think we know he's going to buy a car again in his lifetime. Yeah, no, this he will. Maybe not like what, by, this year? By ever, I mean... He'll probably just two or three years. <laughs> two or wow, three. that's pretty good. Two or three and years. And for me, that would be a huge W. Yeah. yeah. So I, but I, I want to get this car. I want to be, I can, I want to be a LARP that I will never have to deal with another car dealer. Yeah. For a long, long time. Yeah. It's gonna really help your mood. That's really because I just, I well, because that's that. the, well, because that's the thing is like, all right, because if you're a car salesman, you should shoot yourself in the head in front of your family. That's all I have in, to say. In Minecraft. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I hate you so much. I hate them too. I just like... Cause I we, cannot stress enough how much I hate you. Because we talked about how like literally dealing with car dealers has taken out any joy you get in buying a new car. See, I need to buy a car so you guys can take me... Let's go buy a car! <laughs> buy, let's fucking buy a car! Ah! See you guys next week with a new car. <laughs> oh, pass out. <laughs> But then, uh, then you guys can show me because I've never experienced car they, dealers. They, I like going with other people because then I get to yell at the car dealers and not worry about and the just, deal. You don't care about the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's you nice. get to just like yeah. be the chaperone. Yeah. Which yeah. I hate, but also somebody's got to fucking Let's scream Let's go buy Nick another car. Let's get him to get another car. I don't have any I money. can't wait till we start selling used cars. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't wait. I, I know what's going to happen. You're going to have a button factory and you're going to sell cars. Yeah. He yeah. told me that's I'm going to tell people. I'm going to tell people. I'm going to be like, hey, listen. I mean, my business partner here, we're criminals. We should be arrested. You know it. We know it. Everybody knows it. Now buy a call from us. Now listen, I'll tell you one thing. We're going to fuck you, but we're not going to fuck you as hard as that guy down the street, okay? Let me tell and you then we fuck him way harder <laughs> than the guy else. <laughs> but the fact that we just say, like, listen, <laughs> we're fucking degenerates from the pits of hell. We'll call you. You know that, right? right, right. And I'm like, Ugh. yeah, I hate you people. I'm like, we hate ourselves too. I got to take pills and get drunk every day. Listen. All right, yeah, buy the car. And then we just like, <laughs> Look, I haven't seen my wife and my cock since 83. Yeah, buy this insane. Buick from me. Come in. Come on. See, 18% interest. So You're not going to get a better deal than this. You make a lot of money, kid. Come on. <laughs> well, no, because that's the thing is like we've just, we've been kicked out of several car dealers. We've screamed at almost every car dealer we've ever had to negotiate with. It, it, yeah. And it just, it ruins. It gets so, it gets so exhausting. Oh, no, it's so it bad. It gets so exhausting. Because there was like, I remember like years and years ago, my mom bought a car. I think for my brother, like some Kia or whatever. And like, they fucked up the car. The car was fucked up when they, it was a used car and it was fucked up when it got delivered. And my mom, of course, called them screaming, you know, like, you know, like fucking John Gotti and Danny DeVito together. It's being like, yeah, you think you got a nice little dealer? What if you didn't have that dealer anymore? Why is my son's car missing this mirror cap or some shit or whatever? And, you know, the guy, the, like, she got on the phone with, like, the GM, and he was like, look, we'll take care of it, you know, whatever. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it, whatever. And he's like, you know, the thing is, is we sell cars every day. You don't buy cars every day. So it should be, like, a, a good experience. Now, COVID took that, that mantra and put it in a trash compactor and then shit it out. Why'd COVID make it worse? Because they stopped, because, like, the whole world shut down and all the supply chains got fucked up. And they, they weren't able to make cars. So people wanted to buy a car. And then people got the stimulus checks. People got their stimmies and their fake paycheck protection loans mm -hmm. for $800 million. Mm -hmm. So everyone had all this fake money, but there weren't as many cars. Yeah. So the dealers started marking the cars up. And then Time people, for a little payday. Yeah. I, I think we just have what you call a come up. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. Oh, yeah. So it's like then these car dealers, people were people would show up to the lot naked crying begging the car dealer to sell them the car for 10k over sticker that's like how i paid for my honda yeah so it's like that's what happened is it used to be where you went to the you went to the dealer right you were still going to get fucked they were always going to win it's like gambling they needed you basically yeah back they, then. yeah it was like they were willing to like now actually make a deal like they you were, could yeah. actually kind of be like okay hey i know you're a crooks you know i'm i'm trying to be cheap Hey, hey, we do a little dance. We do a little. Uh, you give me some coffee. You yeah, know, you hey, sit hey, here for seven hey, hours. I go like, no, I'm not it. signed. Yeah, and then it's like, let me talk to the. And then it's just like, well, let me think. I'm gonna think about it. Then they call you like a few days later, like, we bought a call. We can do it a number. And it's mm -hmm. like, and it's like, okay, cool. 
I didn't get fucked that bad. It's fine. Yeah. But nowadays, people were... There nowadays, was, there's not enough cars. Exactly. They were, well, it's kind of getting a little bit better, but... So, like, it's it's 50000 over. Yeah. But I got to go. And they're like, yeah. they're like, if you don't buy this, someone else will. So yeah, no, they, don't, they don't... I've had, like, I've had Porsche don't dealers, like, a, a Porsche dealer that I've spent $400,000 at their dealership in the past year not return a fucking text where I'm, like, texting the car salesman about a turbo ass, about a fucking car they have listed for $300,000... Just a light, probably seventy k over MSRP, right? And I'm like, I have a uh, a 2022 GT3 trade in. Here's the info for it. Uh, I'd like to come by and check out the uh, the Turbo S, and then get back like, oh, well, it's actually uh, it's getting uh, fake certified today, so uh, it's you're not gonna be able to look at it except on the left. And I'm like, okay, how about you just you know let me know when it's uh, when no. it's gonna be available, and then it's like. I didn't even. I didn't get a fucking text back. No, they, they don't, don't care. They do not give a fuck. No, you know, maybe if I was a Chinese billionaire or something, they might give me a phone call. I don't. Probably not. They bro. just like they're so. That's the. It's bad. That's the crazy thing because you think that like making crazy money or making more money is going to get you better treatment with certain individuals and businesses. No, 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 no. And it doesn't. It, <laughs> it's, it's like the fucking opposite, bro. It's like, bro, it's like in like a video game. Like, it's like being like level. It's like getting to like level like 300 in Elden Ring and then being like, I'm level 400 now. It's like, who, who, so what? Well, who gives a fuck? It's like you're barely any. Yeah. It's like such diminishing returns. It's like, yeah. they're like, no, we don't care. And the guy who made the game is you're like. You're rich. Everybody's rich. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. And the guy, and the, yeah. <laughs> and the guy who made the game is like, you're pathetic. No one gives a shit. It's like, dude. I bought the fucking Raptor like three months ago or whatever. $82,000 truck. $82,000 truck. I paid like 2K over sticker. had 700 miles on it. I got, cool. I got real lucky that I even found it, right? You know, so I signed the papers. I do the deal, whatever. And I'm getting ready to pull out of the dealership. And I get in the truck and I start it up. And it's got 50 miles of range in the gas tank. So I walk back inside. I'm like... And it didn't have a second key either. They refused to give me a second key or, or comp me or anything. So you know what I did? I had my second key for the M4 on me, and I kept it in my fucking pocket. And he's like, hey, you got two keys for us? I'm like, nah, man, sorry. That car had 2,500 miles on it. He's like, you got the second key? I'm like, no, dude, I don't. And he was in my pocket the whole time. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> but anyway, the car had 50 miles of range on the gas tank. And I'm like, and I, I walk back inside. I'm like, hey, man. You know, could, you forgot to fill up the gas tank. Because normally, when you buy a fucking car, the least that they do after egregiously, egregiously anally gaping you financially, is they give you a they give you a, a gas tank full of gas because it costs them like nothing. And he goes to me and he goes, "Hey man, hey man, we don't, we don't, we don't fill up the tank on used cars." <laughs> and I'm like, "This was an eighty eighty two thousand dollar." used truck that you marked up you probably bought it at auction for like 73 74 you just made 12 to thirteen thousand dollars between my trade-in and this truck go fill up the car and he's like let me all right all right man just for you man like he's doing me a fucking favor oh i hate him so much like he's oh, like so like, like he's like he's blowing me in my in the car and he goes and he drives away and he comes back and he put half a tank in and he put probably like $60 worth of gas in the fucking tank. And I thank God or whatever deity is looking at that I didn't have a firearm with me because I was fucking pissed, bro. And I'll never buy a car from a Rigo Alfa Romeo ever fucking again. They are d d d absolute dog shit. What kind of sick fuck buys a Ford Raptor from a Rigo Alfa Romeo? <laughs> yeah. This, this fucking guy, bro. This no, it's it, they, that's the thing, man. Is like they've gotten so brazenly oh yeah you know because they were they were gods for a while but hey guess what guys oh it's gonna end soon your time's coming and you oh, guys boy. know it. you guys know but i've told you before i don't know if i mentioned on the podcast but i'm sure that we may see I, I i feel that there are many car dealerships that the gms would like instead of before they ever get to like sell cars at some kind of reasonable price yeah make a little bit of money and you know kind of have a business run a business instead of a, just of a, a scam scheme criminal operation they would chain sh they would chain up the doors seal all the exits pour gasoline on themselves and all their employees and yes. set the place on fire before they would sell cars at a reasonable price yeah. at this point in the game no yeah 100 <laughs> percent. yeah 
No, because you got and, and and their absolute insane fucking greed and short sightedness and ins- and just absolute just pure schizophrenic insanity. Oh yeah, there's. I respect it a little bit. Yeah. Of what disgusting gremlin just, monsters they are. If you work in the car, just please just kill yourself. Honestly. In, in and don't craft. message me on Instagram or, or Twitter or fucking TikTok and be like, hey, bud, we talk sometimes. I still kill yourself. I hate you people so much. You were involved in a, a the, one of the most disgusting evil industries. Unless you got a good deal for me. You got a good deal for me? We can talk. <laughs> that, that, all in that, a video game. All that stuff was in a video game. All that stuff was in Minecraft. <laughs> I okay. hate you people so much. Jump. I hate you so much. Instead, I wish I didn't like Instead cars. of telling people to unalive themselves, tell them to jump into the lava in Minecraft. Do that. Okay? All you car dealers, we want you to jump into the lava in Minecraft and lose your diamonds. Anyway. Um, but no, People are absolute disgraces uh, to yeah, this earth, this no, planet. It is. The it, species. You've let down all of us, all car people, all no, car it dealers. Is, no, it's And it's that bad, includes man. you, Kathy, answering the fucking phones. You know what the fuck's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Don't act like you don't. Kathy, don't pretend you're, you're an outsider. We know you're in the fold. But, um, God, this is so bad. Is <laughs> I love a style of leaves for like 30 seconds and we immediately, immediately go to the chorus. Yeah. I was like, this they is need why, this therapy this is, this is why us screaming about how much we want to like, we want to like peel car dealers like skin off yeah. and set them on fire yeah. is, is part of why like we didn't get a lot of views before. It's, Even though I think a lot of people. I mean, you. I think you guys us. need it for your mental sanity. I think you are not allowed to take a bathroom break again during the podcast. Because you just un- literally that was like ten minutes. You know, there's like a, a I'm, few I'm guys that just to Ibiza. that once you got back, they they just they're, they're just still edging to Stella's feet, and they're just like not even paying attention to those stuff. <laughs> 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 and thank you guys, we appreciate all the viewers. Hey, hey, whether you're love you guys here happily or not, uh, there's something for everybody here. Yeah, whether Feet, hatred, <laughs> nice innocent talk, culture. This is speak, pod. This is infinite. podcasting. We do so much. This is the new American frontier. This business. is a mind expansion podcast. Yeah, you expand plan- your mind in every direction. Yeah, not and some directions not great, some backwards, but um, you I, know it's bad. They've ruined it, and to be honest, you know it is short sighted because it's like you can't, you just can't treat your customers like shit like that, bro. It, it comes back to bite you eventually. You know what I mean? Because there's always a better product or a different thing, or people just won't buy stuff. I don't know if people that actually would need your advice are listening to this podcast. You are so far away from you. You got to hold the mic up. I I wanted to say that off mic. Oh no, I didn't. I just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's listen to the feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's the clip. What do the feet have to that, say? Yeah, that's the clip. <laughs> oh God! What is Amar? Jesus what Christ! Is does it sound good? It sounds like I'm about to fucking come. Yeah. <laughs> though I, there's going to be someone who it comes to that. To the thought of your feet rubbing again. Also, I got now have to remember which uh, microphone that uh, is because I do not want to use that one. Uh, 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, not again. It's getting so much worse. <laughs> it's getting so much worse. I think it's gone great today. This is supposed to, this is supposed to be a po- an intellectual experience. Oh my god, we didn't tell them we went golfing. Oh yeah, we did. We went to fake golfing. We did a golf simulator. It was they're really good at golf. Don't play golf unless you're worth like a hundred million dollars. It's such a rich people thing to do. No, it's literally awesome. She tried to make me play it. Fucking do golf stuff, and it's like I'm just so you I'm were such great a poor at person. it. I I need to not. You were pretty good though. You were so good. You did pretty good. You did way and better you than gotta me. Be, you got to be rich and you got to be drunk. You just love complaining about things, but it really was great and you did so good and I think you would have fun. If I was drunk, yeah. <laughs> if I was drunk. I feel like you would like golf. That's like one thing I do think you would enjoy. Just, just standing around talking while you have to hit a ball. It's so fun. It. Uh, my problem with golf is everything. No, it's, I don't know. It's like you got to sit in the hot sun. You guys don't like sports. I like sports. I don't. Yeah, he's not, he's not a sports. Player. I'm a gamer. G a y m e r. You know what? And that's probably why we have gamer fans. Yeah, which I, is a good thing. I like sports. I like basketball. I like MMA. I like uh, football. I 
I don't know. Golf to me is just weird because it's always been like a upper upper middle classman's. Not, not since COVID. Not since COVID. But now everyone can golf. Yeah, but it's like for me, it's I've always felt like well, it's for wealthy people. I'm not one of those. Yeah, but if you go and like you don't care about the culture of like having to wear the white shoes and the outfits, and you just go to try and have better hand eye coordination, I think it's fun. Well, that's the problem. Is I asked Dan, am I allowed to go dressed like this? And yes. He, he said no. Okay. Well, whatever. Wherever he goes, sucks. Yeah. Wherever I go. You could dress like that. Well, that's then I will go with golfing with you. That's fine. Yeah. I just don't want to. I don't want to have. I hate dressing up. We had to go to a wedding. Let's like, go to Top Golf today. I'd go to Top Golf. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go today. I don't care. Mini golf. Mini golf is fine. I'll do mini. I like mini golf too. I I just hate having to not. I hate having to wear anything that I don't want to wear. Yeah, you guys wearing suits to that wedding was hilarious. Yeah, that was rough. We li- we went. That is. We were tr- getting ready for a future career as a used car salesman. That's true. <laughs> that's true. We literally went in there. And he, we parked in the parking lot, and he immediately goes, oh, God. We hadn't even walked inside <laughs> yet. We hadn't even left the car. And we walk inside, and he immediately is just like, oh, God, again. <laughs> and the fucking, and, and, and there's like this old Italian guy in there. He's like the head suitor, whatever the fuck they're called, Taylor. And I'm like, hey, man, I want to wear like a, a blue top with a black pants. Is that appropriate for a wedding? And he goes, no, that's actually incredibly inappropriate. Yeah, you can't. It's horrible. He's like, you can't wear that. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And so we just picked out two suits like off the rack. They should let you wear whatever you want to wear. I know. Uh, we would have wore this. Maybe you guys are creative geniuses. Maybe the next new trend is mismatched suits. Maybe then, yeah. The fact it, you guys it, even got those suits. Did you guys buy them? Yeah. Like you guys both own them? It was $1,500. Mm-hmm. Okay, next podcast, you guys come in suits. I wear socks. <laughs> oh, Let's God. try out something totally different. Bro, that's asking. That, that you're asking me to run 10 miles. Can you imagine? By wearing suits. Well, that's what you're asking me but to do, wearing socks. That's fair. That's a fair point. Because that feels constricting and, that's and not great I'm restricting your femininity. Yeah. And your footininity or whatever. Yeah. That's fair. But like, you know, so I'm trying on the pants or whatever. He tries on the pants. I mean, he needed shoes. <laughs> the guy's like, what size do you wear? He's like 12. And he's like, you want to try them on? He's like, he just takes the <laughs> box, doesn't even try them on. We were in there for like 30 minutes. Life is hard. And for the two of us, it was 1500 bucks for two suits with shoes and ties and everything. And it was a business expense. Another rich man's sport. Yeah, it was. It was having a tailor. No, and the best suits. part, that, too, too, is like those were like shitty suits. They weren't, yeah, they even, weren't even good. They were like super mid suits. And then, <laughs> and then we, go to the, we go to the wedding and it's oh, out. They were a real fucking racket. Yeah. It's, oh, it's such a scheme, bro. It's such a graft. And we go to the wedding and it's outside in October at like 4 p.m. And we're sitting there sweating. And we're listening to this old woman talk about love and how it's like a bird and it's got broken wings or something and it can't fly good and it's going to die. I don't know, some stupid shit. And the whole time I'm just like looking up, he's looking up. We're both like, what a waste of time. Honestly, so who convinced people that suits are more respectful? That like if you wear a suit to a wedding, it's Italians, more respectful. It's Italians. like, why can't you just wear any clothes and it's good? I don't know, dude. Italians and people in the 20s smoking cigarettes and eating steak thinking it was healthy. I understand suits for the aesthetic, but like having to be forced to wear them to, oh, it's to, so to go stupid. sit at a thing just is No, it's pointless. awful. And then we literally... I will say this: the wedding was short. It was like I, a I just, I just feel like, see, that's yeah. the thing. Now, you, you, you having a few cocktails, you got a nice suit on. If it, it I just, as drinking. someone who I've literally can't, everything, I, TikTok doing games. As, yeah, as someone life. who cannot drink anymore without being arrested, without becoming a <laughs> ward of the state within a few days, without going to federal prison. Yeah, I feel that I should not be invited to any social kind of things. The expectation is I'm not going to be there because I cannot be drunk. Yeah. So I think people should take that into consideration when they try to. Which is make why me go I won't be wedding. inviting you to golf anymore. Which is fair. It is. It is a drunk man's sport. But it is. I guess. But but it was. It was a good. I'm, I'm saying. I'm. You know. I'm not saying 100. percent Never. I'm just saying. No weddings. Yeah. No. It was. But and the thing is, is like we sat there. It was 30 minutes. It was short. I will say that. 30 minute wedding? Yeah. Like the ceremony. In and out? No, the oh, ceremony. Okay. The ceremony. You know, the like, people, everybody else, most people there were all night. We left after like an hour or something. Yeah, no, we literally, we left. <laughs> I left too. They served the little hors d'oeuvre things, like the cheap food that you pay a lot for. See, I'm not going to have a wedding. Are you guys going to have weddings? I can't find anyone to like me. So like, no. if you could have a wedding, would you have a wedding? No. I feel like weddings are dumb. No, I, will, I want the money. I agree. 
Like, because it's they all do the same thing. They have if the waiters drunk, that carry around the plates drunk, of hors d'oeuvres, and it's just dumb. If I can get drunk at the wedding, we can have a wedding. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so no, and then we and literally he's just like that's like the moment he gets married. When can I? The day when can I start just, drinking again? <laughs> the moment he gets he he drinks. It's when you like, retire, all right, you've you've been sober like twenty years. It's your wedding now. Like you get one glass of champagne just to celebrate. Just like, he just disappears. <laughs> you like he just disappears after that. I mean, like, see him at the rest of the wedding. Jump off a balcony. Oh yeah, he's I doing break heroin both my legs. that night. Like he drink. Like he fucking divorced two days he, later. Like, he takes a he takes a sip of it. His eyes go wide and the Zoolander yeah. music hits and he's like. Mm-mm-mm. He cheats that night, oh, ruins yeah. everything. Yeah. It's just like wow. Knock, knocks up, unleash the knocks monster. Up he like start fucking like three dudes. Yeah, yeah. And an old woman in front of everyone. Yeah. You know, there's such a thing as non-alcoholic beer and wine. What do you think about that? That's like. Do you at your wedding? That's like want to me. To, to me, that's drunk? like driving a, a a fake Ferrari or something. Yeah, Ferrari. You with mean like, like getting a, a fake Rolex, which you just um, it's yeah. Like, it's like having a it's like having a Ferrari with like a Honda engine that goes like thirty yeah. miles. It's an like hour. A, it's like a sick, twisted perversion of like what it's supposed to be. Just drink bubbly water. And the, and to me, the only all that's going to do is be like, give me the real fucking <laughs> thing. Why am I not give me the real fucked fucked fucking yet. thing right now. I need the real McCoy. Because I'd rather I would rather drive like a fucking twenty year old Corolla that's falling apart than like a weird kit car fake Lamborghini or something. Yeah, yeah. you'd rather like drink really tons of Monster Poison or like yes. Windex than yes. like than like fake alcohol. Yes. Give me something good. Give me something real. Give me scope. Give me something good. Give me something real. Give me scope. That's our that's our new motto. Give me something good. Give me something real. Give me scope. It's just a guy guzzling it. (laughs) That should be their tagline. It should be. The mouthwash, the official mouthwash of alcoholics everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Because you did say it's like better on your stomach, right? It's better if you're gonna drink mouthwash to get drunk, (laughs) scope is the move. And some people are gonna try to fight me on this because Listerine has higher alcohol content. But scope is so much easier on your gut. Listerine has some nasty shit in it. They put some real motor oil type shit in there besides just the alcohol to where it'll tear. I'm telling you, it'll tear you up. But I'm telling you, you can drink a whole bottle of scope and it's. What if you insert great. it through the butt? And it's still high. It's still like <laughs> 15%. Will it get you drunk there average, too? Average Stella Berry question. I, I, I feel like the butt thing's kind of... I don't know. I've tried the butt thing before. What's it called really, again? Uh, like butt chugging. Fuck. I just feel like alcohol burns your asshole immediately. Like, so I don't it's know... It's called boofing. Isn't that what it's called? Well, it's... Uh, yeah. I, I just... I don't know how you really do that cons- reliably without hurting it's a, your It's butthole. a thing that teens do apparently. I've heard that. Yeah. Teen culture. You yeah. know a lot about that. Yeah. <laughs> Teens and butts. Well, I'll try it. Do you think at your wedding you'll have people, if you had a wedding, that you would watch everybody else get drunk around you? Or would it be a non alcohol wedding? No, I have. Bo- I, I, if, I, if I had a wedding, though, I'm not going to assume. I'm not going to be like, oh, nobody else can drink. At my dad's wedding, they handed out hundreds of joints as well. His his best friend rolled a ton of joints. But see, I could be I could be around people getting shit face drunk. It's not a big deal to me. Is it fun? Do you like watching people get drunk? No, I, it's like it, I mean, it could be fine. So what what I, what I don't like about it is because it it, it it brings uh, you don't know what's gonna happen because you got a couple mm-hmm. of people like me in there getting drunk. All of a sudden, you got to fight. You got to you got to deal with people getting weird. Is that guy mm-hmm. blacked out right now? I'm not sure. Is he just having mm-hmm. fun, or is he having too much fun? So that's like stuff that I would think. But but mostly like, it doesn't bother me. I'm just not around people like drinking and stuff that much because it's like to me, there's no, there's not much of any good reason to be around people like. Yeah, that. they just get annoying. Yeah. If you're sober and you're with drunk people, they're yeah. you're just like, wow, you just got infinitely more annoying. Yeah. You know what I've tried though. Which I don't, I've never tried any drugs. You know, I've smoked weed, but that's it. I've never done anything else and I've drank alcohol, but I'm not really into alcohol. I don't do it often. I tried GHB recently in LA. Is that the date rape? The date rape drug. But if you do it without any alcohol in your system, it just gets you like slightly tipsy, but not really, but without any sloppiness. Like you don't actually feel drunk or anything. I was kind of scared to try it, but I tried it. And it just kind of feels. I don't know how to describe it. It's like being tipsy. You can't get drunk on it. Like it, it won't get you progressively more fucked up. You stay roughly feeling kind of tipsy, but then not clumsy, like not slow, like drinking does. Yeah, you know? I've heard that because I've heard that there's like there's like bodybuilder guys that get really yeah, into it. Yeah, that's well, the people because it I doesn't knew like um. Were th- that's why they have really it. yeah interesting because yeah. I because I heard no I, I think I learned from TikTok maybe yeah that like it doesn't 
it doesn't impair you like mentally the way yes, alcohol does. Exactly. It so just like you gives feel you that tipsy, feel. But, yeah. but you but you're still you could still drive a car. And Go shit. on and give us some GHB. I have some. <laughs> I have some <laughs> humility. Sounds I have, like a miracle was, drug to me. I was at the strip club and we were just dropping it in our coffee and trying it. If you put it with not in a drink, it literally tastes like drinking plastic. It's so disgusting. Nice. If you put it in your coffee, it's just a nice little Thing. But can't you? And you don't get hung over, and because it's a naturally occurring neurochemical. Oh man, this sounds like all upside. So your body, your body, someone's can just about to metabolize freelance. it normally, so you don't get hung over at God, all. I'd hate if somebody it's put something future. in my coffee. No, literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be a shame. Whoops, because, I didn't know like, about it. This is the future. Like kids aren't going to be dealing with hangovers anymore. But they see, figured I, out how to get drunk you, and not have a hangover. Can't you OD on that though? Yeah, I feel like I don't know. You do so. You do it in a dropper, right? And you take like this much of it, and it just gets you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I, f- I feel like directly dosing chemicals that naturally occur in your brain probably not great. Oh, but I monsters good. Drug. No, yes. monsters poison. I know. I don't. I'm not even a fan I know, of I, that. I honestly, I kind of want to. I'm just the simple route of just don't need anything. Like just don't do anything. I just don't feel like it's good for That's you. That's what we do. Listen, Nothing. I've been I've been drinking in like three or four Anyone? monsters every day for the past like 17 years, and look at me. I he's feel great. Rich. He's successful. He has a big cock. He's gay. He <laughs> loves feet. He does. He likes armpits. Dark souls and yeah. I mean, I guess there are a lot of things that are a little fucked up about him. Yeah. But overall, he's doing. Great. I have murderous rage for car dealers. Yeah, <laughs> he's on TikTok. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. <laughs> I'm act. I'm 36 year old man. So actively if you want to be like him, <laughs> hours a, fl- a day, a flabby manlet, a flabby manlet <laughs> with a nice haircut, looks like the bottom of a box of cereal. Twenty thousand dollar fake Rolex. Monster made this, just so you know. Just we need a monster. Shouldn't monster sponsor us? Yeah, like, don't I you feel it. like, why are they sex worker friendly? D- no, because no. no company's sex worker friendly. Why? Because <laughs> you're disgusting. <laughs> Even all the companies that, that pay sex workers to do sex stuff, it's like they're not well, sex It's like friendly. everyone uses, they use sex to sell things, right? Sex yeah. sells. So yeah. they, they try and sell a candy bar or an energy drink by implying sex, but not actually putting sex out yeah. there. Why not at this point just embrace the sex of things? It works so much better. it's America and we're a schizophrenic country. It's a, pure, it's a Puritan shithole country. I feel yeah. like Monster would be the first people to... Monster to is so... Support degeneracy like sex. No, because there's too many like redneck fucking... Don't they like Rednecks Monster love sex. I thought they fucked their family and everything. Yeah, they do, but they're fake Christian stuff. It's like... Like this, this country's such Monster, a fucking nightmare. Man. Monster, I love it. Monster's been known to send cease and desist letters to companies using the word "monster" in their names. Oh, I hope we get a cease and desist then. <laughs> like that would be cool. I'll frame it. Could you imagine if they sued you, bro? That would suck so much. What a uh, what an absolute uh, breach of trust. <laughs> what a what a betrayal. Honestly, I got that, that would be more of a, like anyway. a brother against brother kind of thing than like the Civil War. That yeah. would be really if bad. Monster. They're like, excuse me, we don't really support your thing. Thousands of gallons of Monster I've drank. For them to see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you've you've hit the piss back. That would actually hard. be amazing. <laughs> Stella, that would be so funny. Stella's like, I would love litigation. <laughs> no. I mean then we would just cease, right? And desist. We would we would we would quickly desist. We yeah. wouldn't fight it. No, we would just delete this episode of podcast. Yeah. Which we didn't even say anything bad really, so I don't think it would even matter. I do need to quit drinking monster to Yeah, be no, you do. Like you've... today's my last day. I had my last monster. They make me feel like absolute <laughs> shit after they make me feel the best I've ever felt. <laughs> Dude, I've never I saw part of the thing, baby. You the most up and down. I'm <laughs> I'm such a stable person normally, like pretty level in my how I feel, and monster has just fucked that whole thing. Now I'm just you, like, Yeah, you're like a little kid. I've never seen someone be like this felt amazing. Then, like eight hours later, just like no. I dead. literally, I don't even get tired. To it's like this weird middle <laughs> ground where I can't fall asleep, but I feel like absolute shit. Like my whole yeah. body just aches and hurts, and I feel like I want to throw up, and like nothing helps, and I'm just like, oh, I lost. You have to live. trust the process. Okay, you need to drink. Your I don't way like this feeling icky. I don't like you. It. It's builds character. Also, I've never peed as much as I pee when yeah. I have. Mon- I went in there to pee during this podcast episode. First time I've ever had to leave to pee. Yeah. And I peed for like two minutes straight. Yeah. I just pissed my pants. Like, sometimes. what do they put in it? That t- <laughs> like a diuretic? Like, it, it's not just caffeine because coffee doesn't do no, that. No, it's me. full of poison. It's, it's full of piss. My, like, I must, I, maybe I'm going to get skinny because I'm losing all my water weight or something. Yeah. No, it's how you dehydrate yourself is by drinking a bunch of monster. You, mm-hmm. piss, you piss away all your. I'm just like dad now. Yeah. I pee all the time. Yeah. He pees like 15 pounds Honestly, I should drink a monster and then do a squirt scene because I'd probably squirt like so much. Just acid all over some poor guy <laughs> yeah. all over the wall. Just yeah. melts the wall as you, yeah. as you piss. 
Actually, maybe that's what girls do when they like squirt, but they just pee and then it's not ever yellow because it's like so much liquids leaving your body. Well, it's just well, they drink a bunch of water and then they piss. I should drink monsters before I go get an STD test so I can fill the cup. You, yep. That's I a peed good right before I went to go get my last STD test and then I was like, fuck. And then I got there and I only peed like this much. And I was like, is that enough? And she was like, oh, yeah, we only need like three drops. She's like, we hardly need any pee. Imagine you drink a bunch of monster. You go take your STD. I, I, all I know is I fill that bad boy up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to give you extra pee. They gave him a bucket. Like, I always thought you had go. to like fill it quite. I thought you had to really fill it, but they said no, they just need a tiny bit. There's usually like. I think when you're doing other tests, not STD tests, you need like at least this much. A good amount. Because I because they they'll like mark it. They'll be like, oh, at least, at least fill to this point. Well, and then what happens if you don't? You gotta they wait there all day to they, pee again. They take you out back and they beat you to death yeah. for being an unclean person. <laughs> oh. But imagine you took you drank a bunch of monster, you went to take a test and you pop positive for like I don't know gonorrhea or something. Turns out monster has gonorrhea in it. It doesn't in Minecraft. That's a joke. Jesus. See, now we're gonna get a cease and desist. No, we're not. They're not coming after. It. Monster they, has gonorrhea in it. Well, that's the good thing about me is there's nothing to take. I own nothing. We should go take you me to get too. an STD test. What if he has like eight STDs and we just don't even? No, know? I got I got tested last August. I'm good. Last? Oh, can you imagine a life where you just never get tested? Yeah, it's easy. Just don't fuck all the time. Like he has track marks from getting tested so much. Do you really? Yeah. Oh yeah, you kind of do. Yeah. How many years have you been getting tested every two weeks? Ten years. It's amazing. He's like looking at his trade. That's his form right. of heroin. See, I've gone to speak at like certain meetings and stuff and, and like just got see. tested and they like, because sometimes they'll fuck it. It's not anything bad right now. No, really. So. You can't even tell. Yeah, but sometimes they fuck it up and like I've gone to like speak at a meeting. You have know, a bruise like, or something. And I'll have like a visible, because they <laughs> fucked it up. They did a bad job. Because sometimes you get a chick where it's like, oh, great. First day on the job, huh? You're going to ruin my fucking little pokey poke. And especially too, when I was fatter too. You ain't fine in It's a nightmare, dude. Veins See, I always nightmare, come dude. in there and they you're like, like, like fucking, They're like, jerk it up. You're like, <laughs> So like now I'm in decent shape. I can just, I don't even need the ball. I just like fucking, yeah, yeah, they yeah, can yeah. do it like an actual human being. I always being. put my arm out and they're like, wow. And they just, they're like, love how you can't even see my veins. My veins are. <gasps> they would hate you. Yeah, you can't see any of my veins. I hit them. Wait, yeah. that's crazy. They would not like you. I hit him from those You fuckers. know what I will say, though? Going to talent testing, it always stings and hurts when they do it. Going to cutting edge. Never, it's it's always amazing. It never hurts. Like I don't even feel is, it go in. Is that now? They probably like have like one. real phlebologists or something. Whatever those fucking. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's weird. It's, like it's that. a phlebologist. <laughs> yeah, phlebologist. <laughs> Is that what they're called? No, phlebotomist. Same phlebotomist. Same thing. <laughs> phlebotomist. 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 <laughs> Bro, phlegm is what you cough up. Phlebotomist. Yeah. Same they fucking thing. Phlegm. Yeah. They got some real phlegm boys over there. They got some real... they just got to, you know, people that are walking off the street. Most of the time, I would seem Phlegm like. boys is such a great... I don't know what to use that for. I but don't know, but I like it. It, so, it sounds provocative. What was this car gonna be? Uh, <laughs> this show gonna be called? I don't know. Fucking no, wasn't it gonna be Bug Boys? Yeah. Oh, I want. Well, I want. Yeah, Bug Boys. Well, now that you're here, I want to call it the Backdoor Club. That's what I was gonna name my original podcast like yeah. ages ago. Yeah, I want to. I want to rebrand. I don't know though. There's something never stuck. I don't like it. It's clunky. I like Flem Boys. Flem Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Fem Boys, Flem Boys. Oh God. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's uh. Yeah, thank God. I, I would never be able to get tested every two weeks. That's absurd. We should go take you to get tested. Uh, I've been, I know I've gone with him a couple of Honestly, times. I think I've been tested enough. I really me. don't think I need to get tested anymore, to be honest with you. I think I've proved that You've I can't. You've literally never gotten an STD. No. So you could just not get tested every I day. I feel like, like you know I should get some kind of waiver. They should like stamp my thing. It's like good. Handicapped. <laughs> like, <laughs> handicapped yeah. handicap pass. I have that. like a, you know, I'm like a grandfathered in like yeah. you know, lifetime clean test. You're tenured. Yeah. Yeah. Tenured. Yes. Yeah. yes. Tenured jisman. A tenured yeah. jisman. You get your, you get your medallion. Ten yeah. years. Like cocks no dripping SCDs. green fluid and like yeah. fucking yeah. Pus. sores all over it. Yeah. Like, You're bleeding out of your eyes. You're bleeding out of your eyes. You're like, I think I'm fine. Yeah. I got, look at my medallion. They're like, I got right. gonorrhea in my eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you could film. It's fine. My, it's a full syphilitic brain. <laughs> yeah, I feel like vaginas are the breeding ground of um, bad things. Yeah, yours is people's are the things that spread all this exactly. stuff. Exactly. And the penises just never get it. You guys just yeah. in and out and yeah. you're fine. Because I pee all that stuff right out. Honestly, I love being a woman. I hate having a vagina. I hate that it's so up and down. Someone nuts in it and it's just like fucked up for days. It smells weird. Like the vaginas <laughs> are just annoying. Like they're so. It's like they want to have sex one time, get well, pregnant, and never have sex again. There are some people. We, I mean, we can get rid Mommy of that. Mommy wants for to you. have sex. Well, well. We can. Uh, <laughs> we can fix that. We can. Yeah, there's options. I got a sewing kit in the get car. Get a meat sack <laughs> that people can roast on Reddit. 
about how it looks like a sausage. They'll say it looks beautiful. It will they be will. A, they will. They don't look that's beautiful. That's the I'm thing. Sorry. Yeah, fake penises the, the, the fake beautiful. penis technology is not, uh, not up to if par. You're, if you're going to transition <coughs> to be a man from being a woman, I think that's awesome. So awesome. Honestly, I would do it too. Just don't get a penis. <laughs> Just con- yeah. keep the vagina. Well, I think because the thing is, like from what I've read from my my dark research uh, late at night, is um, like it's a lot easier for women that are transitioning into men to like get on T and, you know, obviously get Girl their... Girl a clit penis. Not that, but like just easier for them to pass socially. Oh, yeah. Like to look like a man. You don't need a meat sack in your pants yeah, to pass no. as a man. So you could just keep your your vagina and be uh, a man and just like wait 20 years when we have the technology to just implant a penis on your body from yeah. another person i uh, yeah so you can have a vagina and you can be inc- and you can be a legit man that's the most wait, why don't they do that thing. why do they build a whole new penis when they could just take a penis off someone who wants to get rid of their penis and then just like sew it onto your body do a penis transplant why don't they do those and that's why you went to medical school we transplant everything else well right. i think it's because well no but they a lot of times they use guys penises to do the vaginas and stuff yeah they'll like fold it oh, in yeah well yeah. someday they're gonna start just you don't, chopping them off this isn't build a bitch workshop you don't get <laughs> to just do that but no but i mean that's like what i've what i've read um how do we always end up talking about trans people <laughs> we're losing light right now guys. yeah I, yeah we're on the way out we're an hour and 40 minutes into this how long uh, are our our is our podcast supposed to be Two minutes, not uh, this long. What's yeah, a no. good What's a good time? I mean, to like it's fine. Hour I mean, fifteen. Yeah, pr- I mean, probably like an hour and twenty at the it, most. It so yeah, this last twenty minutes is just garbage that we've been. Well, the last hour and forty most minutes are garbage. It doesn't. Yeah. It's, you know, the whole point of this is just to. Just, we could just. Why don't we just go for the three hour mark tonight? Why don't we just do that? You're sick. <laughs> I like your. I like your your goal. I like your your mu- your muster. Um, see. Well, if we were monetizing this, we could have put so many ads. <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to let you talk. We're about literally it. doing this for no money. Yeah, just for fun. Yeah, they're not going to let you. We're not. But the, All right, time for the foot licking since this podcast is almost done. Lick it. Ah, that tickles so. Oh my god, it tickles a lot oh today. God. All right, Nick, your turn. I'm okay. Thank <laughs> Nick, you. Nick, put your feet up for Daddy. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> put your feet in Daddy's mouth. That's the. That's my son licking that feet again. There he is. That's my. More. That's my brother. <gasps> that's my. God, that tickles so much. That's crazy. Is that 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 must feel like what it feels like to get your butthole licked. As a man, <gasps> with your prostate, that's so crazy. Oh, put it in. Did you just fart? No, I almost shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> average, average foot enjoyer. Like, no, I, I don't fart. I shard it. <laughs> Papa Adams Jr. over here. <laughs> I should have been needs molesting to him use with my the feet. laboratory, the lavatory. Oh my god, we've all been peeing. Yeah. yeah. So you, I think it's time to. I think it's time to sign off. And you can go take me get burgers now. Yeah, we'll take yeah. it to get food. All right, uh, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Uh, this whole conversation was brought to you by Scope. <laughs> Minecraft, uh, Monster Energy, plastic surgery, pl- uh, any your local med spa, um, trans surgery tra- doctors, trans yeah trans rights groups. Uh, I'm gonna set us out with the applause here. Life water and life water. Life water. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you on the other side. See that one. That yeah, one was the applause a real is still show. going. <laughs> that was a real shit show. <laughs>